life or check them out online at bestbuymetals.com. All right, it's uh, 7 a.m. The news is next. Good news from uh, the Atlanta Braves. They got a, a big win last night, game one of the NLCS. Uh, had some pop, some power last night. Braves win back in action tonight, 6.05. That'll be right here on Mix 1041. Game two of the NLCS, the Los Angeles Dodgers. At 7 a.m., the news is next. Broadcasting from the law offices of Andrew B. Morgan Studios, this is Mix 1041 WCLE Calhoun Cleveland Athens. And download the free Mix 1041 app at mymix1041.com. Hey, this is Andrew Morgan reminding you that we're here for all of your legal needs. Give us a call at 829 1429. Fox News is next, presented by Capital Tire Service in downtown Cleveland. Fox News, I'm Carmen Roberts. Georgia voters set a record on the first day of early voting with nearly 127,000 votes cast yesterday. President Trump returns to the campaign trail after his doctor said he's no longer contagious. I went through it. Now they say I'm immune. I can feel I feel so powerful. I'll walk into that audience. I'll walk in there, I'll kiss everyone in that audience. Yesterday's rally was held outside in Sanford, Florida with little social distancing or masks. Meantime, challenger Joe Biden telling Americans this election will affect generations. The next president is going to determine not just the next four years, but the next decade or more is going to look like because there's such a stark, fundamental difference. Biden campaigning in Cincinnati. America's listening to Fox News. This news is sponsored by Lee University. Expect something great. The Mix 1041 News Desk brought to you by Logan Thompson Law, a tradition of legal and community service. That's Logan Thompson Law at LoganThompsonLaw.com. Good morning. It is uh, 7.02, Mix 104.1, and uh, welcome uh, to Mix Mornings on uh, Mix 104.1 Radio. Also on Mix TV, you can find uh, Mix TV at mymix1041.com, and it is served by Tzatziki's. I'm Steve Hardline from the Logan Thompson Law News Desk, and the Bradley County Commission met on Monday. They covered uh, several items of business. Good news. The uh, Veterans Committee held a, a golf tournament, raised more than uh, $7,000 uh, uh, toward the Veterans Home in process of being constructed. Uh, that was uh, mentioned by Bradley County Commissioner Kevin Raper. Also in our uh, new, uh, news from the Bradley County Commission, it was noted that early voting begins here in Bradley County tomorrow, Wednesday, at the uh, polling sites, as we mentioned yesterday. Uh, those uh, early polling sites, Bradley Square Mall, uh, that uh, begins uh, tomorrow at 9 a.m. till 6 p.m. Uh, they will be open Saturdays 9 to 4. Bradley Square Mall, also the Bradley County Election Commission office, and in the former BB&T building on McGrady Drive, uh, south end of Bradley County. There was an extensive discussion at the Bradley County Commission meeting uh, yesterday. It was a work session about the county's social media policy for Bradley County employees. They're going to vote on that, Commission is, uh, at their next session. Also, uh, the Cleveland City Council and the Cleveland City Manager have asked the state for a chance to let the public speak about the building of a new methadone clinic in Cleveland, including the possibility of appealing their certificate of need uh, for the clinic. And that was included again at the Bradley County Commission meeting last night. Another, um, at the end of the meeting, uh, communication from an audience member. This is always the protocol at a Bradley County Commission meeting where uh, the audience can, uh, can speak, someone in the audience, and 
Whitney Dunsford spoke to the Bradley County Commission, and basically what Whitney said is that her daughter is a nine-year-old student at Shenandoah Baptist Academy. And for the past two years, she played basketball at Taylor Elementary School because her school has no team. Well, the family lives in that Taylor Elementary zone, and they were informed this year that she could not play anymore due to a rules change and should not have been able to play previously. Now, private school students are not, per current rules, allowed to play on public teams. However, homeschoolers are allowed to play. Now, the family, uh, Whitney Dunsford, says that her family was never informed in previous years, and her daughter wants to play with Taylor Elementary School. It's noted that children from private schools, at least this year, are being allowed to all join together under the TCPS banner. Though there is debate if TCPS will have, uh, be having these uh, noted sports this year, given the pandemic. So... It was a lengthy discussion amongst the Bradley County Commission last night, largely between the commissioners and the head of the Parks and Recreation Department, Andy Lockhart, Jr., the director of Parks and Rec. He explained the policy and its reasons. The commission questioned why the past few years parents were not told of the policy change. They request that she be allowed to play the next two school years, as she's already played two. Commissioner Slater, Sunday Slater, asked if uh, Dunsford's daughter, uh, if Mrs. Dunsford's daughter, if uh, this is the only child in the situation, and Lockhart believes there is one other. Con uh, continued discussion focused on the maintaining a policy or removing the policy altogether. But overall, the request of the commission is for the two children in the situation to be allowed to finish their time in that age range. There was a small plane crash yesterday, according to our news partners at Channel 3. Uh, at the, uh, this happened uh, at the, uh, the tri—let me back up here, folks. Uh, in Apison, the crash happened yesterday, Monday, about 5.20 p.m., happened on the 4900 block of Sandy Trail. As uh, College Dale uh, City spokesperson Bridget Rafer confirmed the crash, said no fatalities were reported. As a matter of fact, it was uh, one, one person, uh, a 59-year-old man, uh, the pilot of the plane, escaped with no injuries. And that is the very latest local and state news from Mix 1041 from the Logan Thompson Law News Desk. Visit LoganThompsonLaw.com. I'm Steve Hardline reporting. With Southern Heritage Bank, you can now simplify your life by consolidating all your banking and insurance needs under one roof. There is nothing more comforting than knowing your insurance needs are being handled with the same care as your banking needs. For your free no-obligation quote, call Southern Heritage Bank, a division of First Citizens National Bank. First Citizens National Bank Insurance, LLC. SouthernHeritageBank.com. Insurance products are not insured by FDIC or any federal government agency, are not a deposit of or guaranteed by the bank or any bank affiliate, and may lose value. Well, Bridget is out this morning. Uh, she is having surgery this evening on her... It's not her ACL. A a ACL sounds better than the Achilles. She uh, ruptured her Achilles playing tennis and I think we're going to have her opponent on later I, I I'm told that's right so anyway we'll talk about that but Bridget's out Ashley R is in and matter of fact Ashley R is walking in the building as we speak and uh, good morning uh, good morning how are you good morning I don't think you've ever coasted with me. I have, I have, no. You've never First been time. allowed. 14. <laughs> desperate times call for desperate measures. <laughs> Man, are we. Uh, well, Bridget, she was going to come in today. Uh, she was going to come in this morning. And then something about her appointment yesterday. She's having this surgery. She, By the way, she's scared to death and terrified. terrified. And, and then, like, <clears throat> late yesterday afternoon, I get a text from her. That like her surgical preparations began last night, which she's lying, obviously, and that uh, she couldn't come in. No, because of the COVID, she has to like wash in special soap twice. Did or you just say the COVID? The come COVID. on, <laughs> come on. Anyway, I uh, I don't. Well, tell us about that, and then uh, I don't think there are any traffic problems. October is Chevy Truck Month, and a great time to get a great buy at Don Ledford Chevrolet Cleveland North Huntley Highway and DonLedford.com. Save thousands on all Buicks and GMCs at Don Ledford Buick GMC. 
Great fall kickoff, Don Ledford Automotive Center, North Lee Highway, and at DonLedford.com. All right, we're uh, monitoring uh, traffic, no trouble, school zones in effect, and uh, hey, folks, just uh, be careful out there. It is uh, 10 minutes after 7. Mixed mornings is served by Tzatziki's. But uh, thank you so much. Uh, Ashley, we love Food City. They do a wonderful job. Yes, we love we got Food City. Uh, flu shots? Flu shots, right? yes. You can go up by there and get your flu shot while you get your groceries. All right, that's it. Food City, value every day by Mermaid Mattress. Morning, uh, Roger Pickett, listening on the app this morning. I guess he's watching us, too. Uh, you can go to uh, Mermaid. We actually picked up a couple of, I uh, guess, twin-size mattresses. Uh... Uh, just last week, and it was uh, great. The only problem is Reagan and Holden Hartline bouncing on all the mattresses at Mermaid. So if your favorite uh, jumpy place isn't open, <laughs> go then, to your uh, local Mermaid mattress. Go to Mermaid mattress. Uh, Roger has banned my children. I understand <laughs> that. Also, uh, thanks uh, so much, Kia of Cleveland, and uh, the trade-in man uh, John Davis is going to be coming in in costume very soon. Braves win last night, Ashley. Did you consume any of that? I know. I just heard about it this morning when I woke up on the news. Braves uh, got, uh, won in uh, game one. Game one. Uh, hit, hit some home runs, uh, and they did let some fans in. 11,000 fans were there. First time that baseball has had any fans in this short season. Oh, that's cool. So they played down near Dallas, Arlington, Texas, at uh, Globe Life Field. Braves win. Braves tonight, game two at NLCS. 605 here on Mix 1041, driven by Mountain View Nissan of Cleveland. Uh, wouldn't, it be, wouldn't it be about right the Braves win the World Series in 2020? In that this would be par for the course this year. Pandemic year. They're going to count it, so hopefully they yeah. do. Uh, we also want to uh, tell everybody we've got a very special contest this hour. I have for over 20 years, if you've listened to this station, God bless you if you listen that long. But Cleveland Tire Center, when I do a Cleveland Tire Spot, do you know what I say at the end? Cleveland Tire Center. The name says it all. The name says it all. And I've got a Halloween theme this time. We're going to start this morning. If people will call in and say the name says it all, we're going to give you a free oil change from Cleveland Tire Center. That's about a $40 value. That's a great and then maybe we'll save the best one and tag their spots with it. Yeah. Also, that means you have to. That means you have to record. Everything. You know what? I think the waters are trouble right now. Let's just go ahead. Are you? Are you calling to do that? Yes, I am. All right. We'll just go ahead and do it now. Let's let's go ahead and get started. The name says it all. I like that. That's good. That's that was pretty. Good. That's pretty good. I mean, for seven twelve in the morning. <laughs> That ain't bad. Uh, Who's this? This is Lori Sintel. Lori, how are you? I'm doing good. How about you? I'm good. That was okay. I mean, maybe this afternoon it'd be a little better, but. Are you fully awake? Yes, I am. <laughs> what, are you, what are you up to this morning, Lori? Uh, about to head into school at Hopewell Elementary. What a wonderful school. It is. It is. And uh, Mrs. Kaler, I, I loved her mother, Helen Faye Oh, my goodness. What a wonderful lady. Precious lady. I worked with her at Blythe Bower. Did you really? Yes. Oh, yes. my goodness. My grandfather, Reverend Littlefield, would pick me up at Stewart School, and I'd, be, I'd still be in Mrs. Lee's room <laughs> an hour later. <laughs> I loved her. <laughs> wonderful lady. All right. Have a, okay, Lori, we're going to put you in the running for it, okay? All right. Thank you. All right, uh, seven thirteen. We got to take a break right here. We'll do. We'll do a little more of that later. The name says it all. Give me your best one, and you could uh, possibly uh, win. All right, uh, back coming up. The Mix One O Four One local act. It's time for your Mix Morning Secret Word of the Day, sponsored by Mountain View Nissan of Cleveland. Today's secret word is football. Welcome to the big leagues, where our go-kart all-stars take personal shopping to the next level. 
They always bring their A game, so you get groceries carefully selected specifically for you. These are passionate professionals, ensuring every fruit and vegetable, every cut of meat is exactly the way you like it. This is plump. That is juicy. And this is lean. Order go-kart curbside pickup online for personal shopping at the highest level. Hey, I'm Eric Gardner. And I'm Paul Gardner at Volunteer Ritapest. We can protect your home from termites without drilling your concrete or destroying your lawn with our exclusive Termidor HP2 treatment system. We have so much confidence in this system, we back all of our treatments with our unmatched five-year, 100% money-back guarantee. No one else in Chattanooga does that. Let the local guys protect your home. Google Volunteer Ritapest or call us today. No bug will survive. Call 698-7205. View Nissan locations mean one giant selection and with over 800 new Nissan vehicles to choose from we've got something the whole family will love like no payments for 90 days and 0% financing on select Nissan models that's right zero payments and 0% financing on some of our best-selling Nissan models so come shop Mountain View Nissan in Chattanooga Dalton and the all-new Cleveland home of the exclusive lifetime warranty Logan Thompson has been a significant legal voice in Southeast Tennessee for over 40 years. Regardless of your politics, vote on November the 3rd. And for all your legal needs, elect Logan Thompson. A tradition of legal and community service. Bender Realty is proud to have three agents who've been in real estate for over 40 years. The experts at Bender Realty don't just live here, they volunteer and contribute to the community in our area. Our involvement in the community of who being able to uh, reach out to, whether it's City planner, county planner, economic development committee to get, help you bring new businesses into the Cleveland area. We're, we're all in, involved and we're able to keep up with what's going on and what's coming into Cleveland. If you're looking to buy, sell, lease, or rent, trust your friends at Bender Realty. 472-2173. Bender-Realty.com. Be home with Bender Realty. Medical Center Compounding Pharmacy and Health Center offers Bradley County's only state-of-the-art sterile compounding laboratory. We are here to customize drugs and medications that are not available commercially or over-the-counter. Maintain your health with medication design to meet your body's specific needs. It's just what the doctor ordered. Put your health in the hands of trained professionals you know and trust. Medical Center, Compounding Pharmacy and Health Center, North Okoy Street, phone 476-5548 or visit medicalcenterrx.com. You're watching Mix Mornings on Mix TV. Here is your current Kia of Cleveland time. And here's your current Vascular Institute temperature. All this, all, uh, all this week, I guess doing this every morning, uh, the in celebration of the Halloween sale at Cleveland Tire, Big A Andy Thompson said, hey, have people call in and do their best. Uh, the name says it all. And then uh, we're giving away a free oil change every morning. So uh, we'll do that uh, again here in a few minutes. 19 minutes after 7. Mermaid Mattress is sold more Tempur-Pedic in Chattanooga than any other mattress <laughs> retailer. And right now, they're on sale. <clears throat> Mermaid Mattress. Better mattress, better price. Beautiful day uh, today. Sunny skies today. Highs will be around uh, 71 today. 
Sunny tomorrow, 76. Thursday, sunny and 78. Great weather week. This weather forecast is brought to you by Bain's Business Machine. They have new and pre-owned office equipment in stock. Small desktop units all the way up to large standalone units. They never lock you into a contract. Bain's Business Machine. Stewart Road in Cleveland, 479-9677. BainesBusiness.com. All right, uh, coming up, uh, we're going to uh, uh, talk to some friends of ours and a woman who I believe deserves sainthood uh, for getting Bridget out of here. Uh, we'll talk to her uh, coming up. Uh, it was the uh, Baby, the perpetrator of the injury of Bridget Forrester. All next, stand by. Hey, welcome back to First Weekly. It's my favorite day of the entire week. I hope your Wednesday is off to a great start. Every single week, we want to dive into God's Word for just a few minutes and just hear a word from Him. You know, if things keep going the way they're currently going, we may have to start calling our country the divided states of America. It just seems like we're living in a day where everybody's against everybody. Presses their looming questions, who are we really? And who does God want us to be? He says in Philippians 1.27, check this out, as citizens of heaven, stop right there. Notice he didn't say as citizens of Philippi. He didn't say as citizens of Rome. He didn't say as citizens of America or the Republican Party or the Democratic Party or Kanye's party. He didn't say be a citizen of a city or a state or even another nation. He wrote to these believers and he said, as citizens of heaven, keep reading, live your life worthy of of the gospel of Christ. Then, whether I come and see you or am absent, I will hear about you that you are standing firm in one spirit, in one accord, contending together for the faith of the gospel. Paul tells us, believers, I know the world is divided right now. I know everybody is fighting for your allegiance, but you are not a citizen of planet Earth. You're a heavenly citizen. You don't belong to this world or to a political party or to another person. God says, you belong to me. So as citizens of heaven and as children of God, this is what God expects from you. You ready? He said that you stand firm. You see that in God's word? That means not wavering, not being pulled to the left or to the right. But he said, stand firm on God's word. And he says, in one spirit. He's saying your spirit ought to agree with God's spirit today. He goes on to say in one accord. It means together, in agreement with one another. And then he says contending together. That word contend, it literally means to persevere. It was a word that was used to describe a runner that was fighting through the pain and straining to get to the finish line. But he ends by saying this. He said for the faith of the gospel. In other words, there is one solution to the world's problems today. And it's not a government leader. It's not a person. It's not a policy. It's not a political party. He said the solution is found in a savior. It's found in the gospel. We have hope today because Jesus is on the throne. Nothing more and nothing less. I know that today you have many things that are fighting for your allegiance. You can find your citizenship in a multitude of things in this season. But the Lord tells us as believers, plain and clear, as citizens of heaven, live your life worthy of the gospel of Christ. Then whether I come and see you or am absent, I will hear about you that you are standing firm in one spirit, in one accord, contending together for the faith of the gospel. I, I don't know about you, but I needed that word from the Lord today. Yeah, we have any uh, uh, celebrations uh, this morning, Ashley? Yes, we What's do. Going on? Ashley, are in for Bridget, and we are joined. Uh, we're going to be joined by the Lee Harvey Oswald of Cleveland, uh, and we'll talk to her in just a second. Who, of course, assailed uh, Bridget, and that's why your mic's not on yet. Thank you. And uh, at any rate, uh, yeah, I talk, you listen. How about that? No, that's not for you, Annie. That's for Rob. There we go. We're going to talk about. Rob's uh, geometric mustache coming up here in a second. But uh, first of all, uh, what do you got? All righty. Happy birthday to Lily O'Brien. She turns 15 today. What? 
Yes. Willie. Yes, Mom's Prince. Grab Willie, the Clayton steering Hustle. wheel. Exactly. Callie Shields turns 12 today, and Kobe and Emily Goins have an anniversary, 19 years today. If you have any birthdays about or anniversaries. 10 good ones, I understand. That's a lot of years. If you have any birthdays or anniversaries you want us to know about, give us a call on the Volunteer Ritapest Mix Line at 614-6499. All right. Uh, it is uh, 724, and uh, I tell you what, let's... Uh, Let's just say good morning. Bring it on in here. Rob Alderman. Good morning, Robert. Good morning, Stephen. How are you? Well, I mean, yeah, I was okay until what you've done. What did I do? Well, you invited me in here for an interview at 715, which you just said yourself is 724. Yeah. So we're a little bit late. A little bit. Okay, number two. That's early here. Number yeah. two. Number two, you bring this person. I'm, we're supposed to be celebrating Britton Meathy yes. today. Yes. We're celebrating B Britton Meathy as a, as a huge accomplishment. <laughs> That's right. And uh, and then, as I'm out there, Dwayne comes out. No, it's Ashley comes out and says, "You're all gonna be on together." I look. I'm like us all because you know I'm used to Britton and I being yeah. together, obviously. And I look up at the and this is happening and this occurs and we come in here. She's already offended my mustache. Yeah. Just because she doesn't. Let's say it, you don't like men. I. <laughs> I never, let's just say it. I'm let's just say it out loud. Dolly Parton and say I never met a man I didn't like. I don't. <laughs> it's just you're all your such Facebook easy just targets. says so so differently. I like one man. You like one. Yeah. Man. His name is Jared Adams. You know, I would go so far as to say he likes you yeah. for sure. Yeah. He tolerates me. Rob. He does. He, he does. So so Stephen, I'm a yeah. little bit upset at the Alderman Group Mix 104 Studios. <laughs> Uh, number one, you did upgrade the cups. The yeah, cups. Man, we did that for so you. So the last time I was here, right? Yeah. You had those tiny cups that were just like, it was a joke. Let's That's be Mrs. Honest. Hartline's fault. Let's, Let's be honest. Honest. Well, Mrs. Hartline, I love you. No. But come on now. <laughs> but, but this thing, we're supposed to talk. This woman tried to murder Bridget. Yeah. She tried to actually kill your co-host, and yeah. you made me sit next to her. Yeah. Right. But I anyway, I'll well, introduce. I'm gonna. Well I'm gonna prove to you men aren't so bad. I'm gonna introduce you. I'm gonna introduce you right now, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Cleveland's only semi tennis pro, Annie Adams. Thank you. Thank you for having me. We we invited. Well, here's the deal. We invited Rob on uh, and Brett Meathy because Brett is a, a wonderful young man <clears throat> who's accomplished a wonderful thing at the Alderman Group. So we wanted to talk about that. But then, in the meantime, since we made said invitation, uh, Annie tried to murder Bridget. And this is the woman uh, who's the perpetrator. And, but uh, now, most people would be negative about that. No. I think you deserve you guys, sainthood. You guys have it wrong. Pickleball tried to kill Bridget. And I'll explain oh, okay. when you're ready. Well, and, and you, uh, for, for visual aid, mm -hmm. uh, you have brought a giant tennis ball. For Bridget, it's just a gift. Is that an actual pickleball? I, She's what? having surgery. Tonight, Ashley R., what time? 7 o'clock tonight. Are we going live for that? Or? Yes. Mix <laughs> okay. TV, as, as you see, Mix TV will be there tonight covering it live. Amazing. I feel sorry for Britton. He's never done this. What, excuse me? Like he doesn't know what this is actually like. He's, <laughs> he was like, what? I thought, I thought this was like a press release, but with people. <laughs> hey, look. I've decided to sit on the side so I can watch, observe. I'll jump in later. I'll tell you what, Rob. Let's begin with this announcement. No kidding. Uh, our buddy, Brenton here. Sure. Well, we're very pleased to announce that uh, Brenton Meathy, after uh, over six years of working for the Alderman Group, has been named a, has been named a partner at the agency. So he's the very first uh, partner since the founding of that, since the original partners. Wow. That's awesome. Um, and wow. he's just, uh, we're, we're thrilled to have him make a... Lifelong commitment. He's now trapped forever. <laughs> <laughs> Breton, congratulations, buddy. Thanks, man. How, how, how does that feel? It's great. I'm excited about it. It's been a been a great six years so far, and excited for more. You know, he, he almost sounds like a hostage. I, I, I hate to say that, Rob. I, I don't know. Feels it was like weird. Instead of like a... he's reading into the camera, like we are all fine here. <laughs> Steve, no one has are, made me make this fine. statement. No one has made me say this. I thought I smelled fear when I came in, but I thought it was because of my triceps. Yeah. Oh, 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 wow. It was wow. weird. I, uh, You're the beard. I went yeah, because blazer. of your beard. Uh. I went to get a watch to celebrate, and it goes around my ankle. I don't understand. It has a beeping red light any time I leave the house. I don't Bretton, know. What, what do you do with the Alderman Group uh, uh, here at four? Besides what, what clean the, the toilets. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> that was unnecessary. Toilets. That was Partner. unnecessary. Partner. 
<laughs> no, I mean a little bit of everything. Started writing. Now I get to work with some clients. I love them. They're great. That was the worst answer ever. Yeah, that was like <laughs> such a terrible answer. Some I was... clients are fine, Steve. <laughs> you you're never coming client? on the radio. I, I will never be I invited tell, back. I can this tell you that time. being on the radio is no longer in it. I just need someone to take me out in the game of pickleball so that I can. Uh, 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 we're not talking about that in a second. When do you get your cloak? <clears throat> Sorry. Rob, uh, you know, we've been, uh, I remember when you started the Alderman Group. And yeah. Come a long way, buddy. You really have. Ten years. Ten years of the Alderman Group this year. Yep. So we're, uh, you know, it's no game of pickleball, but it's okay. <laughs> we do all right. I'm so triggered. It's right no one. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call it ball. Don't call, it's, it is pickle, a sub pickle game. Of pickle. It is a subpar recreational activity. Wow. Wow. It is not a sport. Which this city Don't is call it ball. A million dollars on. <laughs> it just makes me sick. We have spent a million dollars on pickleball. The, Over a the fact that any Plus, of my tax well, dollars have pickleball? supported this travesty <laughs> is do you know, just. Britain, do you know what pickleball? No, is? I mean, Cleveland's latest investment. What Cleveland's latest investment? Whatever. Well, I, I tell Congrats. you what, we're going to have to take a break right here. We're going to rejoin this conversation. Well, but but uh, wait, pickleball's real? Well, well why would you? Uh, why are we taking a break so you could run like a commercial for a yeah. crematorium? Yeah. What are we? Okay, Rob. <laughs> is it? She's <laughs> Ashley. Rob, Rob bites so off. It's unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, Ashley would love that button. I guarantee you. <laughs> At seven thirty-one. Oh you think you're like that's my one. It's time for your Mix Morning Secret Word of the Day, sponsored by Mountain View Nissan of Cleveland. Today's secret word is football. DuPont Tyvek, leader in building envelope systems. DuPont Tyvek Protect, roofing on, under layment, provides moisture protection while having an excellent slip resistance for a safer and wrinkle-free roof installation. Wholesale Supply Group, you've heard the name for years. The experts trust them, and you should too. Whether you're building, remodeling, or just maintaining your home, Wholesale Supply Group has all the plumbing, electrical, and HVAC products you need to supply any project. With great brands like Delta, Kohler, Renai, Mansfield, Progress Lighting, Square D, GE, and Milwaukee, Wholesale Supply has everything you need. Check out the locations in Cleveland, Chattanooga, Athens, Dayton, Madisonville, Dalton, and Chatsworth. Online, WholesaleSupply.us. And remember, Wholesale Supply is open to the public. Robin, scoop it, shake it, cake it. Way, whatever you want to say. Streetways? The roadways, the terms? streets, the please. My Lord. Listen, first morning that we've ever done this in 14 years be nice. No, it's not. You've done this several times. Not with you. Congratulations, by the yes, way. Thank that you. that Robert, that deserves an award yeah. when you Hold on. This is your first time? With Steve. I've been a Bridget. We should well, I, I can listen. I can attest. I can, I can attest that everybody's prayer? first time with Stephen is forgettable. <laughs> oh man! That brought to you by Don Ledford Chevrolet. The streets look great out there. Let's be careful. All right. If you see Most of you are homeschooling anyway. You need to know about. Give us a call on the volunteer Reddit Facebook on six one four six four nine nine. Rob Alderman, ladies and gentlemen, back in just a second. I don't Seven. come on the radio to disappoint you. Time to get up and get approved with the King of Credit, American Car Center. We want to approve you from. Baskin Robbins. Scoop it, shake it, cake it.
Right, let's go to check of the Mermaid Mattress Weather Center. For a limited time, you can save up to $400 on our most luxurious collections of Tempur-Pedic and Stearns and Foster. Plus, you can finance free for up to five full years at Mermaid Mattress. You have the weather? I do. <clears throat> Today's high 72 with a low of 46. Tomorrow, your high's going to be 77 with a low of 55. And on Thursday, your high's 79 with a low of 54. Your current Vascular Institute temperature is 55 degrees. Aubrey's patio is now open. Weather is good, so enjoy your family friends and good food at Aubrey's of Cleveland. You also sounded like a hostage on that uh, tag you did there. I have been for 14 years. That was, uh, why do we keep saying 14 years? I mean, what, what, who cares? No one cares. <laughs> yes, everyone you, you said It's a it big 15. Feat. People in this town are so proud of Bridget and I. Why? Because we've been with you for 14 Yeah. Oh, yeah. 14 years. A little hum there. It's good to know, it's really good to know that we can change studios entirely and have the same problems with the board. I'll have more problems ever. <laughs> more problems ever. Uh, one is Ashlyn Morlock one. She called us the hot mess express. Thank you, Ashlyn, and good morning to you. How'd she know? How'd you she know that's what we were calling ourselves? Silence, people. She's <laughs> we're on uh, uh, radio, also on Mix TV at MyMix1041.com. You can, uh, in fact, though, if you watch us, there's six ways to watch Mix TV. If you watch on Facebook, uh, this morning we're giving away a 55-inch television from Mountain View Nissan of Cleveland. Thanks, uh, to uh, Thomas Williams, executive manager over there, uh, and he's listening right now, and we're watching us on uh, cleveland-nissan.com. We're also sponsored by Tzatziki's, and uh, boy, you talk about some good eating. Uh, that you guys like? Have you heard that yeah. salmon it's Caesar salad over there? Oh, it's good so stuff, good. Listen, don't sleep on it. It's good. That's all I'm asking. It's good mm -hmm. stuff uh, at uh, Tzatziki's. All right, time for sports. And uh, this sport's brought to you by the Town Squire. Have you heard about the Town Squire's shoe selection? It's great. They offer Florsham, SAS, men's and ladies, Cole Hahn, Samuel Hubbard, Alden, Allen Edmonds, and Johnston and Murphy. Great styles and dress and casual and the latest fashion shoes at the Town Squire. Come in and try on a pair. You may be surprised. The shop that appreciates the customer. Locally owned and operated since 1977. Stewart Park Plaza, Key Street, Cleveland, Tennessee. See the home of personal service and free gift wrapping. Well, the Atlanta Braves won game one of the National League Championship Series 5-1 over the Dodgers last night in Arlington, Texas. Uh, Riley and uh, Albies both homered in the ninth. Freddie Freeman homered in the first. And the Braves, uh, Rob, they lead one game to none in this uh, best of seven. Yeah, nobody was expecting it, Stephen. But, well, I guess like five Braves fans were. Dwayne, he loves the Braves. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know it. Whatever. Yeah. But you're I mean, a I'm, Cubs fan. I am a Cubs fan. It's it's still as painful as ever. You, th you would think that winning that one World Series would have done it for me, yeah. but it didn't. It was very temporary. Temporary. Well, the Braves haven't won a World Series since 95, so, I mean, it, you know, it's been a while. Yeah, I know it, man. I, actually, I root, I root for the Braves by default. Yeah, I understand. When the Cubs are out every year. Sure. Uh, American League Championship Series Game 2 goes to Tampa Bay. The Rays lead the Astros 4-2. Of course, the Astros are a bunch of cheaters. Yeah. And everybody hates them. I wish that they wouldn't let the Astros play baseball anymore. I right. wish they weren't even a team. Just ban the franchise. Yeah, forget about it. They're out. Uh, Tampa leads 2-0. Uh, Cancel nothing. culture. Excuse me? Cancel culture. Can okay, whatever. Okay. That's what the kids are saying. Uh, right. Game That's 3 tonight, 8-40. That's what those kids are saying. Oh, no. <laughs> All the internets are working this morning, Britain. I didn't know if you heard. Uh, game three tonight, 840 TBS. Uh, also tonight, because of the, well, let me go back a second. Uh, Monday Night Football, what a game last evening. Saints over the Chargers, 30 to 27. Drew Brees leads a comeback in overtime. Yeah. Anybody see that? I watched it. Uh, you know, I thought at first that the, before the game, I thought New Orleans would have this easy. And then, I mean, the Chargers look like they're in control the whole game. You know what I mean? And, I, and so I was like, whatever. And I kind of watched a couple other things, and then I came back, and Drew Brees was uh, doing what he do. And it was incredible. I think that that team's sick. Now, it's probably, New Orleans is amazing. <clears throat> probably his final year. Uh, probably his final appearance yeah. on Monday Night Football. All-time passing yards, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Un unbelievable. Uh, big comeback last night. Tonight, though, because of the COVID situation, the Bills and Titans will play a Tuesday night game tonight, both undefeated. They'll be in Nashville this evening. Uh, it'll be on Talk 101.3, driven by Mountain View Nissan of Cleveland. My Falcons fired uh, Dan Quinn and 
Uh, also, General Manager Dimitrov, after the uh, Sunday uh, loss, 0-5, they have promoted Raheem Morris as their interim head coach. He was the defensive coordinator, former head coach at Tampa. Now, you're a big Falcons guy. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about it all? Not been the same since the Super Bowl loss to New England. Have completely downhill. Yeah. To be fair, they've blown quite a few leads in the exact same way since then. Yeah, they have. and I, I, I mean, I they found a way to lose to the Bears. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Man, the Bears were trying to lose, and the, and the Falcons outlost them. That's exactly right. That That's was the weirdest point. thing to watch. That's a wonderful point. Hall of Famer Joe Morgan, a former member of the Cincinnati Reds' big machine of the 70s, died Sunday at the age of 77. Rest in peace. Yeah, two-time MVP, longtime broadcaster, ESPN uh, Sunday Night uh, Baseball. Missouri Vanderbilt, first SEC game postponed due to the COVID uh, situation. All right, we are joined now officially by uh, Annie Adams. Annie, good morning. Good morning. Uh, Bridget touched a little bit on this uh, yesterday. Your tennis match with Bridget, when, when did that happen? Um, I believe it was Friday. Last Friday. Yeah. It's been a little, everything's been like a little foggy mm -hmm. ever since, you know. Tell me how you met Bridget. Um, gosh, I feel like I've known Bridget forever, you know, seen her here and there. Um, and but I have the tennis the match show. happen. I mean, okay, so we have a problem in our community. Do you want me to talk please, about, please, I mean, just yeah. go right into it. Please. So, um, you know, we have, first of all, we have an elite, prestigious, phenomenal tennis community mm -hmm. in Cleveland. I mean, we have players that have been in the Win Wimbledon, um, played mm -hmm. at Vanderbilt, played at UT. And so that's not the problem is, is it's hard to get in. You know, Who here played at Wimbledon. When, um, <laughs> Kay McDaniel. McDaniel, she runs a free oh, tennis camp yeah, yeah. every she year. Oh yeah, yeah. She was my she was my coach. Oh, she's mm -hmm. phenomenal. Anyway, Cleveland. Oh, sorry, she Kay. Was coach, nice, Rob. She was. I, I. You know what? You forget things in your old age, Stephen. I'm. I'm no spring chicken. Sorry, Annie. Can no, no, have. it's good. So, so the problem's not really for those those phenomenal tennis players they're all playing together they've known one another for years me as a mediocre tennis player you know it's one of my very few gifts is being mediocre at tennis congratulations um i'm mediocre at a few things not really good at anything terrible at a lot of things but you know can medi confirm mediocrity is kind of like my thing wow. so i love tennis love being mediocre at it a lot of other people are mediocre at tennis in cleveland so it's hard to get like an into that elite tennis community. I don't know if you need like a country club membership or like a doctorate or like the blood of eight virgins. Like not really sure what, Sorry about that. <laughs> not really sure how to get in. So I found that this is, you know, a problem in Cleveland. Um, but what people have done is they've been indoctrinated and they've turned to what people are calling pickleball. I don't like to call it ball because I find it not to be a sport. It is a subpar recreational church camp oh, activity man. that our city has spent over a million dollars yeah. um, surrounding our sacred ground tennis courts by this pickle nonsense i mean it's really a shame to even use the word pickle it's a it's a offensive to the culinary community we all know that pickles are you know for your microbiome your gut health like pickles are like fermented foods they're very are really important. good for you and i would never name this sport Pickle, pickleball, it's offensive. So anyway, that leads me to, that's kind of the back stories. I started a group, um, posted it last week in Word of Mouth Cleveland. I just thought I would bring those who have been indoctrinated by the mystique that is pickleball um, back to where they belong, which is playing tennis moderately well. Sure. And so I or started. Or just say mediocre. Mediocre. So yeah. I started this group, Mediocre Tennis Players of Bradley County, who refused to play pickleball. And Bridget joined um, where Bridget got herself in trouble. Okay. Love Bridget is she's not mediocre. She is, mm -hmm. in fact, very good. So 15 minutes into this match, we'll call it, because let's be honest, I was going to get destroyed. Her serve is like it has this like curve where like no matter where I stood, it was gonna go ten feet in the opposite you direction. Play? She's very good. Where did you play? Uh, we played at Tinsley. So first of all, Tinsley is now surrounded by pickleball courts. So you can't put pickleball courts that close to tennis courts and not expect spiritual warfare. We were under attack from the second that we got there, and the fact that Parks and Rec 
you use our tax dollars to spend money on these pickleball courts and I, didn't I grass, and Andy. didn't consult <laughs> with the spiritual leaders of our community <laughs> so that they could prophesy events like this happening. Can I ask you a question real quick? I, I want to ask you a question. I'm shocked and offended. How come you're never this good on our show? <laughs> like, we have a show together. We're on a show. I'm, I'm amazed at what I'm hearing right My now. Thing is mediocrity. The cohesion of thought, Man, the ability, the, her ability to speak well, clearly. I care about this subject. On your show, you just have me there I, for... I, it's not, I'm astounded. <laughs> At, at how much our show you is know. it? Our I, show is at nine. The coffee's worn off by then. Yeah, no, that's a, that's first thing in the morning. Kind of like surgery. She's, she's like so coherently go. discussing the forces of good and Bridget, evil. Bridget, and like when we're it. on our show, we say things like, "How about that debate?" And you're like, "What?" Well, so let, let's go to the incident. Uh, joined by uh, Annie Adams, Rob Alderman, Brett Meathy. Annie was playing tennis with Bridget. What? Where did Bridget? When did she rupture her Achilles? It was about 12 to 14 minutes into the match. <laughs> we had wonderful. warmed up, and I was, like, ready to be, just again, destroyed. Because it, it was very apparent she was very good. Oh, um, see, that's ridiculous. No. I was actually, that's ridiculous. You've played with her before. You know she Like I said, that's ridiculous. Does she whoop you, Steve? Well, I'm just mediocre, so I don't, oh, like, okay. have... Okay. I mean, so about 12 I never to claimed to be good. <clears throat> well, okay, about 12 to 14 minutes in, what happened? Um, the ball came to her, and she... Is this a HIPAA violation? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, that's fine. Okay. I, I am a doctor, thank you. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm a doctor of mediocrity. Mm -hmm. That's not a thing. Mm -hmm. I, she went up, and she came back down, and she, her ankle rolled or popped or something. She was on the ground. And I couldn't really focus because of the grunts and mouth breathing from the pickleball courts. Like, that was oh, okay. really distracting. Okay. So it was hard for me to focus on her because I was so, like, triggered by the savage nature of what was happening around. Tennis is very – it's an etiquette sport. It's a – well, not really. Some of the guys who play here in Cleveland, it's not an etiquette sport whatsoever. Well, most people follow the standard rule of, like, it's not a cuss word if you leave the vowel out, you know, well, but pickleball uh, is just uh, like anything goes. Boy. Bobby Ludwig, Edward Jones, financial advisor. Bobby? Hey, good morning, Steve. We're, we're joined by uh, some folks here, uh, Annie Adams specifically, Bobby, they were taking questions. Uh, who, uh, uh, who obviously... Uh, is uh, Bridget's assailant, and uh, that's why she's out this morning. She's having surgery at 7 o'clock tonight. Normally, you want a doctor first thing in the morning. Ashley R., have you ever heard of surgery at 7 at night? He, she's VIP. He worked Oh, his, stop it. We, <laughs> she's VIP. She's having at 5 a.m. You don't want a surgeon no, at night. What's he, a, he a revival? He was revival? solid, and he's coming oh, back to the hospital to do her surgery tonight. I heard, right, that, guy, I heard that guy plays pickleball. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, probably so. Uh, Dr. Jason Spangler. All yes. right, uh, Bobby, what's up? Come on. Hey, my, hey, speaking of pickleball, I think I'm going to try to play some, I may play some pickleball, but some tennis tonight. You playing so, tennis or are you playing with don't play with Annie. You'll have to go have really surgery. I don't really play tennis, but I need to get out there because we haven't played basketball for forever since for the COVID stuff. So you need to get out and do something. Maybe we finish this on the phone. Fun. Thanks, Bob. Let's go. Come on. It sounds, it sounds like a lot of fun. I'll try some pickleball. Yeah. Hey, he Marcus for higher yesterday, Steve. I'll get through this. Marcus is down 250 points to close at 28,837. The S&P up 57 to close at 3,534. And the NASDAQ up 296 points. Technology stocks really rallied yesterday to close at 11,876. So great day for 401Ks, IRAs, investments. Back to you guys in the studio. Bobby Ludwig, Jedward Jones, financial advisor. Bobby, how can people reach you, buddy? Hey, give us a call for all your investment, retirement, and life insurance needs, 473-2215. Again, that's 473-2215. And, Steve, I'm open to tennis lessons. Do you want to give me some? I understand yeah, I, I'm a, a I'm a player, not a teacher. So uh, you know, I mean, it, it's, tough. it's tough. I got you. What? Some are better coaches than players, so you're a better player than coach. Huh? Is that what uh, so I'm I'm not I'm not good at it. I'm not good at either one. But well, just ask Mike Griffin how good I am over at the chamber. Just ask him. Get him on here. All right, Bobby. Thanks. Okay, it is uh, 11 before the hour. We're back in just a moment. The new it's time for your Mix Morning Secret Word of the Day, sponsored by Mountain View Nissan of Cleveland. Today's secret word is football.
Welcome to Anna Talk Studios, where we specialize in facade optimization, EFIS stone and panels. Our combination of efficiency and quality has made us a reputable company for over 20 years. Our team's mission is to build relationships that inspire hope and purpose, driven by biblical principles for the community that we love. We are prepared to provide you with a customized solution to all your building needs. We are the last ones on the wall and the first to respond with repairs. This is John Davis, the trading man for Kia Cleveland on South Lee Highway. You probably heard the news. Most dealers don't have any inventory, but at Kia Cleveland, we do. In fact, we've got even more new Kias than I'm comfortable with. So we're rolling them out of here like 2020 Kia Rios starting at 13.9. That's right, brand new cars starting at 13.9. Come see me, John Davis, the trading man at Kia Cleveland on South Lee Highway in beautiful Cleveland, Tennessee, where car buying is as easy as one, two, three. KiaCleveland.com no matter where you stand in this season of unrest, it's time to let your voice be heard. With civil discourse and informed voting. On November the 3rd, every American has the right and the responsibility to cast an informed vote. I'm a Republican. I'm a Democrat. And we don't have to agree on politics. But we agree on your right to vote. Vote the issues. Vote your values. Just, Just vote. vote. Let's get better sleep. But before that, let's finish just one more chapter. Let's jump just a little longer. And if we have to, let's finish up that big project, but still remember what's important. And after we've done it all, let's get better sleep. Mermaid Mattress, better mattress, better price, better sleep, better life. You're watching Mix Mornings on Mix TV. Here is your current Kia of Cleveland time. And here's your current Vascular Institute temperature. Host of uh, Man Up America, one Adam Lowe. Good morning, Adam. How are you? Co-host. Co yeah, this whole thing. Respect. See how I came in here, Robert? Yeah, I, I watched Unlike that. Unlike you two children who are off the rails, away from the show this morning, in violation of your We're contract. here to celebrate mediocrity, Adam. You know we're, this is the only thing we do well. And speaking of Britain, me think. <laughs> literally, <laughs> literally, we were here to celebrate Britain. This, this is what I'm saying. Here's, here's how things get ruined, Stephen. Yeah. Things get, now we actually have our own show has taken over your show. Yeah, this, yeah, this is going to happen eventually. <laughs> we knew we were going to get in here. From Talk yes. 101.3 yes. to Mix TV yes. that, that we've been demanding for four weeks now. <laughs> you got it. You're on. You're hey, gone. could you please, for the love of God, say something nice about Britain? Like the whole reason we came in here was to celebrate his partnership. <laughs> just, and it has Steve, just not Steve, happened. Steve, can we open the door? The Old Spice and Beard Wax is a little... <laughs> I'm starting to get like a Use gag less, reflex. Uh, not less on your beard. Not Adam unlike. Hello, Brett Meathy, Annie Adams. Uh, no, we, we invited Rob in to bring Use Brett less on your beard. Make the uh, junior partner announcement for the Alderman Group. Then Long overdue. Annie tried to kill Bridget. Yeah. So Bridget's gone for several months. So we wanted to because thank Because of him. me. <laughs> well, I'm here to make sure. I'm going to usher in this celebration. Number one, Please. Brett Meathy recently celebrated the anniversary of his mother's agony and labor. That's true. That true. is true. He is older today than he was yesterday. That's yeah. true. This also is true. Truism. Oh, that's so nice. No wonder Happy you have birthday. a show. He is, is now a junior day? partner. We, hey, we're manning up. No, you're doing this. Thank you. Yeah. Did you he, drink uh, some White Claw? What did you do? So much White Claw. Oh, good. Wow. Let's face it. Congratulations. That's exactly and that's not, uh, that's not what happened well, Adam, at all. Uh, when can people uh, hear and see your show? Oh, you mean Rob's show? Oh, Rob show. Yeah. Thank you. Thank I, you, Adam. I, we I have a big announcement. Sorry. We, got another, we, got, we have another big announcement. Listen, I'm making moves, Paul. Listen, I'm making, I'm making moves here. So first of all, it's now Rob Alderman's Man Up America. Number two, <laughs> Brenton Meathy's a partner. Number three, I'm very pleased to announce that um, I have begun the Cleveland Pickleball Association. I, that it, was about time. Thank you, Rob. And we have had it with people, mediocre tennis players. Yeah. Why have mediocre tennis players? Those we have are incredible your pickleball players. Those are your people. What we want to hear is hate them. Who, who, are the, who are the best tennis players in Cleveland? And I'm going to go ahead and tell you. Yeah, please. It's not you. It's, it's not, not me. me. No, no, it is not. Michael, you. But that's it's, not what my club McDaniel. is for. Well, Kay's great. 
a pro. Yeah, she's okay she's a little great. bit. She's fine. She's kind of Can gone. we open it to table tennis? Because if so, I'm going to my name. <laughs> I was told that we were going to highlight <laughs> mediocre tennis today. Not that oh, those I'm people sorry. have already had their... I mean, come well, on. listen, guys, we've got to cut this short. The Secretary of State, I'm told, is in the lobby. So we've got to go. But oh. uh, thanks. Adam, when can they hear and see the show? We're, all, we're live at 9 a.m. this morning. And uh, <laughs> airs on Talk 101.3 from 1 to 2. And uh, just a shout out to Britton Meath and congratulations yeah, for being Brett's a you, That's why to Rob Alderman's Harry Spector. I want to give, Annie, sir, I wanna give Annie Adams the final word here. Th first of all, Heart. thank you. God oh, bless you. My pleasure. Don't pickleball. It's it's just wiffle ball and ping pong I had a baby on a half size tennis court. Go back to where you belong, which well, is mediocre we, tennis. We really it's love what you all. Pickleball's about. It's Man Up America, 9 a.m. Uh, this morning. Thanks, guys. It is uh, 755. Secretary of State Trey Hargett, Senator Todd Gardner coming in, and we're going to talk to them uh, coming up next. Stand by for more. This news update is brought to you by The Bread Basket. The October cake of the month is white chocolate amaretto. $5 off all month long. Also try the cranberry orange bread. That's at The Bread Basket, located in the Stewart Park Plaza near the post office on Keith Street in Cleveland. Visit breadbasket.com. Also find them on Facebook, Cleveland Bread Basket. All right, uh, it's time to get a, a check of the Don Ledford Cleveland Mix Highway Patrol. Ashley R is here. Ashley. All righty, October is Chevy Truck Month and a great time to get a great buy at Don Ledford Chevrolet Cleveland, Northley Highway, and DonLedford.com. The streets and the roadways look clear out there, but if you see anything we need to know about, give us a call on the Volunteer Rita Fest Mix line at 614-6499. Let's just say I have a few texts. I just checked my phone. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> about, I don't know, 50 I texts. <laughs> wow. Uh, all right, so um, uh, well, I don't know where to go. About half an hour ago, more than 45 minutes ago, I told you that uh, if you listen to this station, you hear me do the Cleveland Tire Center spots. I've been doing Cleveland Tire Center commercials, let me see, 27 years. It started when I was 15. Andy Thompson, if you, if you don't like me on the radio, blame Andy Thompson. He was uh, the one that... <laughs> in some ways got me into all this. Mm -hmm. So Andy and I spoke last week. I love Andy. He's one of my favorite people. And he said, Steve, I want you to have people call in and do the, the tagline, which Ashley R., what is the tagline on the Cleveland Tire Center commercials? The name says it all. And the name says it all. Uh, yeah. So if you it's call me fun. right now at 614-6499, and you do the tagline, we're going to give a, uh, you're in the running for a free oil change. We had a couple people call in earlier. We didn't even ask for calls, and they were calling in. So uh, well, I'm gonna t I, c I probably can take maybe two right now. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Fine. How are you? I sound good today. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> thank uh, you. All right. You want to try it out? Sure. Go ahead. And the name says it all. Very good. I like that. Who's this? This is Sherry. All right, Sherry, and you are in the running. We've got a free oil change. We're going to do this every morning uh, this week at Cleveland Tire. Thanks so much. Thank y'all. All right, so uh, there's another one, <clears throat> Ashley R., and so far, uh, pretty mediocre, quite yeah. frankly. I, I didn't want to say that while pretty, she was on the air. Yeah, pretty mediocre. 614-6499 on the volunteer Red Pass Mix line if you can call me. And do a, and the name says it all. Uh, we're going to put you in a running for a free oil change from, uh, from uh, Cleveland Tire Center, celebrating their Halloween sale. Buy three, get one free at Cleveland Tire through uh, October 31. Let's go back to the phones. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Uh, who do we got here? It's Brian Welch. Brian Welch. Brian, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> You've got, you know, we had all these people do this uh, promo for us uh, that they listen in, and you've got to be my favorite of, of all of them. That was great. I'll send you a check right now. I'll pull over and send you a check. <laughs> <laughs> no, hey, just give it to the empty stocking fund uh, when we get there. How about that? Fair enough. Fair enough. All right, hey, bro. Do I, get to do this? do I get to do this in the Halloween style like you did? You, you can do whatever you want. First of all, Brian, what are you up to this morning? Uh, just over 200 pounds, quite a bit. 
<laughs> Are you still singing for him? I sure am. Yes, sir. Loving it. Loving what's the uh, What's the deal on the First Baptist Choir right now? Are you guys still uh, meeting? Still meeting. Choir still going on. Pandemic tried to destroy it. Didn't win. Still moving forward. It's all. It's all about Yeldell. That's all it's about. You know. It is Yeldell. It is Yeldell. All right. All right, Brian. You know the slogan. You've been hearing it for a long time. I have. How about this? Cleveland Tire. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, yay. That's the leader. That's the leader in the clubhouse. That's the leader in the clubhouse right there, I'll go ahead and tell you. All right, Brian, thanks. Glad to be on the team. Thank you, buddy. I got to run. It is 8 a.m. coming up. The uh, Are we keeping track of these? I guess yes. we are. All right, uh, I, we got to stop it for now. We've got the uh, Secretary of State, Trey Hargett, uh, Senator Todd Gardenhire. They're coming in. Going to talk to them after the news. In uh, just a moment, stand by. It's 8 a.m. This traffic report is brought to you by L&B Appliance, your one-stop appliance shop and HVAC dealer. Locally owned and operated, Durkee Road at Highway 64 in Cleveland, 423-33. The Vic Vascular Team is leading the way in peripheral vascular care in our region. Feeling of pain in your legs, loss of sensation in your feet or toes, open sores that won't heal, weakness when walking. Do you have flow problems? These are the first signs of peripheral artery disease, PAD. PAD affects one in five Americans and when untreated can result in the loss of a limb. If you or one of your loved ones are experiencing the signs of PAD, be evaluated. We are Vascular Institute of Chattanooga. We can help. Welcome to the big leagues where our go-kart all-stars take personal shopping to the next level. They always bring their A-game, so you get groceries carefully selected specifically for you. These are passionate professionals, ensuring every fruit and vegetable, every cut of meat is exactly the way you like it. This is plump. That is juicy. And this is lean. Order go-kart curbside pickup online for personal shopping at the highest level. I told my son to find me the nicest place to live in Cleveland. He said, Dad, there's only one place, and that's Garden Plaza. And I moved into the patio home. Everybody knows your name from day one, and there's something to do all day long if you want to participate in it. You cannot possibly be bored at Garden Plaza. It is just great, and our food is outstanding. It's out of this world. I'm so happy I'm here. Garden Plaza is it for me. It's time for your Mix Morning Secret Word of the Day, sponsored by Mountain View Nissan of Cleveland. Today's secret word is football. Jackson Furniture, Catnapper at Cleveland, one of America's premier manufacturers, is hiring manufacturing positions right now. Full-time positions start at $15 per hour, including great benefits, 401k with match, paid holidays, and vacations. Join our team. Apply online right now at jacksonfurniture.com. Baskin Robbins. Scoop it. Shake it. Cake it. We're here at Mountain View Nissan of Cleveland. We are here with great service. We're here. We're here. We're here. We're here with great deals. We're here for you. So come shop Mountain View Nissan of Cleveland and cleveland-nissan.com today. Home of the exclusive lifetime warranty.
Bender Realty is helping to keep the community thriving during this pandemic by offering no contact online tools for buyers and sellers in the real estate market. Especially in this day and time with COVID, um, it makes a lot of the buyers are not wanting to get out and walk into someone else's home and even sellers may not want people in their home. We can actually do a virtual tour with our phones and send it to our clients. Walk through a property without having to actually be there and, and see all the intricacies of the property and the things that they may or may not want. If you're looking to buy, sell, lease, or rent, trust your friends at Bender Realty. 472-2173. Bender-Realty.com. Be home with Bender Realty. For more than 70 years, Medical Center Compounding Pharmacy and Health Center has been a proud part of the Bradley County community. We offer one-time and monthly prescription fills with a state-of-the-art compounding pharmacy for customized medications. You can schedule an appointment with a healthcare professional that will listen to your needs, conduct a thorough medication review, and develop a personalized plan to meet your wellness goals. Medical Center Compounding Pharmacy and Health Center, North O'Coy Street, phone 476-5548, or visit medicalcenterrx.com. Mrs. Winters Chicken and Biscuits. It's always the right time for Mrs. Winters. Serving up the most delicious Southern style food for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Their classically American Southern fried chicken, hot buttery biscuits, and home style sides can't be beat. Mrs. Winters on Keith Street near 25th Street in Cleveland. Visit lovemrswinters.com. Don't wait in line. Download the free Mrs. Winters Chicken and Biscuits app for pickup or delivery. Baskin Robbins, scoop it, shake it, cake it. It's time for your mix morning secret word of the day, sponsored by Mountain View Nissan of Cleveland. Today's secret word is football. You're watching Mix Mornings on Mix TV. Here is your current Kia of Cleveland time. And here's your current Vascular Institute temperature. 72 with a low of 46. Tomorrow your high is going to be 79 with a low of 55. And Thursday, 79 with a low of 54. Your current Vascular Institute t temperature is 55 degrees. This weather is brought to you by Okoy Pediatrics, committed to seeing sick children within 24 hours of onset in most cases, also offering home visits for newborns. Call Okoy Pediatrics at 614-3733 or visit okoypeds.com. Broadcasting from the law offices of Andrew B. Morgan Studios, this is Mix 1041 WCLE Calhoun, Cleveland, Athens. And download the free Mix 1041 app at mymix1041.com. Hey, this is Andrew Morgan reminding you that we're here for all of your legal needs. Give us a call at 829 1429. Fox News is next, presented by Capital Tire Service in downtown Cleveland. I'm Carmen Roberts. Georgia voters set a record on the first day of early voting with nearly 127,000 votes cast yesterday. President Trump returns to the campaign trail after his doctor said he's no longer contagious. I went through it. Now they say I'm immune. I can feel I feel so powerful. I'll walk into that audience. I'll walk in there, I'll kiss everyone in that order. Yesterday's rally was held outside in Sanford, Florida, with little social distancing or masks. Meantime, challenger Joe Biden telling Americans this election will affect generations. The next president is going to determine not just the next four years, but the next decade or more is going to look like because there's such a stark, fundamental difference. Biden campaigning in Cincinnati. America's listening to Fox News. Capital Tire Service, downtown Cleveland, your local Michelin dealer since 1967. Providing Cleveland with quality products and services for over 50 years. Come see Freddie or Tony in downtown Cleveland for a great deal on Michelin Tires. 
The Mix 1041 local active COVID case count is brought to you by Laboratory Service Center. Rapid COVID testing results in 15 minutes. They have the cheapest self-pay rate in the Chattanooga region. Visit clevelandtest.com. That's clevelandtest.com. Here are the local active COVID case count numbers for our listening area. Bradley County, 232. Hamilton County, 808. McMinn County, 174. Meigs County, 25. Monroe County, 122. Polk County 34 and Ray County 94. That's the Mix 1041 local active COVID case count brought to you by Laboratory Service Center. Visit clevelandtest.com. The Mix 1041 News Desk brought to you by Logan Thompson Law, a tradition of legal and community service. That's Logan Thompson Law at logantompsonlaw.com. From the Logan Thompson Law News Desk, local and state news from Mix 1041 and Talk 1013 The Buzz. I'm Steve Hardline reporting in our news today. The Bradley County Commission had a work session on uh, Monday, discussed numerous items, including the social media policy for Bradley County employees. Uh, a lot of discussion about that at the meeting on Monday. That is going to come uh, before the uh, Bradley County Commission at their next voting meeting uh, for a vote. Also at the uh, commission meeting, the Cleveland uh, City Council and City Manager have asked the state for a chance to let the public speak about the building of a new methadone clinic in Cleveland, including the possibility of appealing the certificate of need for the clinic. And at the uh, meeting, at the end of all Bradley County Commission meetings, the audience, uh, uh, someone can come forward uh, from the public and speak to the commission. And Whitney Dunsford did just that. Her daughter is a nine-year-old student at Shenandoah Baptist Academy. And for the past two years, she's played basketball for Taylor Elementary School because her school at Shenandoah has no team. The family lives in the Taylor Elementary Zone. They were informed this year that uh, uh, the, the young uh, lady, the nine-year-old student, uh, could not uh, play anymore due to a rules change and should not be able, but should have not been able to play previously. Now, private school students are not, per current rules, allowed to play on public teams. Home school students are allowed to play. Now, the mother, uh, Whitney Dunsford, said that she was never informed in previous years and her daughter wants to play with her old team. It was noted that children from private schools, at least this year, are being allowed to all join together under the Tennessee Christian Preparatory School banner, though there is debate if TCPS will be having a team, uh, as uh, this uh, was noted, as sports uh, this year given the pandemic. Now, that followed a l large discussion between commissioners and the head of Parks and Rec in Bradley County, Andy Lockhart, Jr., he explained the policy and its reasoning. The commission questions why the uh, past few years parents were not told of the policy change. They request that she be allowed to play the next two school years as she's already played two. Commissioner Cindy Slater asked if uh, Mrs. Dunsford's daughter, or asked, Ms., uh, asked if the daughter is, is the only child in the situation, and Andy uh, Lockhart said there may be one other. Uh, continued discussion and look like the uh, commission endorsed that the two children in the situation be allowed to continue playing and finish out their time. And, of course, they're going to be revisiting that issue. Small plane crash uh, yesterday. Uh, this uh, in the Collegedale area, uh, 4900 block of Sandy Trail, as uh, Collegedale Police and Tri-County Volunteer Fire Department responded to that uh, small plane crash in Apison last evening about 520. College Dale City spokesperson, by the way, our longtime friend, Bridget Raper, confirmed the case and said no fatalities reported. Uh, the pilot, a 59-year-old man, the only person on board, and he escaped without serious injury. That is the news. And uh, this reminder, early voting begins in Tennessee and in uh, Bradley County specifically tomorrow. We're going to be joined by Secretary of State Trey Hargett and Senator Todd Gardner about that very subject. Early voting opens in Bradley County tomorrow, 9 a.m. until 6 p.m. at Bradley Square Mall, the Bradley County Election Commission office downtown, and the former BB&T 
Bank Building uh, there on McGrady Drive in South Bradley County. News anytime at MyMix1041.com. That's where you can also watch Mix TV, which we are on right now. And uh, you can go back and if you miss anything, Mix Mornings uh, wise, never miss a minute with Mix Mornings on Mix TV. And thanks so much to Garden Plaza at Cleveland. Garden Plaza Cleveland on Key Street, directed by Ken Bolin. They have uh, units available right now in their assisted living and independent living wing. And unbelievable amenities, including a great new chef, Chef Steve. Nope, not me, but uh, maybe another Steve. That at uh, Garden Plaza Cleveland. And by Bender Realty. Good morning, Jim Workman, everybody. Robert Bradney at Bender Realty. Be home with Bender Realty. Bender Realty. Dot com. We're back with more and traffic and weather next. This news brought to you by the Mark Shepard Agency of Shelter Insurance. Call 910-9393. 910-9393. October is Chevy Truck Month and a great time to get a great buy at Don Ledford Chevrolet Cleveland, Northley Highway, and DonLedford.com. Looking on the Smartway cams, all your roadways and streets are clear, but if you... If you see anything we need to know about, give us a call on the Volunteer Rita Fest Mix Line at 614-6499. Uh, you also have a giant tennis ball in front of you. We're going to leave that for the Secretary of State to, to see and Senator Gardenhire. Yes, we are. We are? Okay. We, we can explain it. I wonder if uh, Secretary uh, Hargett uh, plays tennis. We can ask him. Or, or uh, Senator Gardenhire. We can ask him. They're going to come in and talk about uh, early voting up next. Tell D. Wayne, I, I'm not going to play the song. We'll just get them on in here because they've been waiting for a long time and they've got a schedule. And they're supposed to be on right now, but guess what? We're running late as usual. As usual. We're actually running, I mean, we're only 15 minutes late, so that's like running ahead. <laughs> what, what did you make of last hour? Folks who are just joining us, a lot of folks just joined us yeah. about 8 o'clock. Tell me. It was enlightening. It was very, yeah, that was, it was a lot of fun. We had Bridget's assailant. My co-host, Bridget Forrester, and I'm getting all kinds of texts. We're getting calls. Dwayne told me uh, in, the, in the station about this. Apparently, you people weren't listening yesterday, but Bridget blew out her Achilles playing tennis with Annie Adams, who I believe in, uh, deserves sainthood. And uh, so she, uh, uh, Bridget's out. How long is Bridget going to be out? Do we know? Well, surgery's today. So I'd imagine. Tonight, no, it's not today. It's tonight. tonight excuse me, tonight. She'll be it's out probably joke. the rest of the week, and we hope maybe back Monday, but I don't know. She's like non-weight-bearing for So what weeks. we're going to do, we're going to, and you're going on vacation, so we're going to audition people uh, to be our uh, guest host. Sales reps and guest hosts. Well, no. <laughs> why, why start now? <laughs> anyway, uh, at 8.16, uh, we're back with more in a moment. Mix TV and uh, radio. You can find Mix TV. Well, you can, if you watch us through Facebook, Mix 1041 WCLE on Facebook, we're giving away a 55 inch television, Smart TV, which is uh, smarter than me, which isn't saying much. Uh, Mountain View Nissan of Cleveland, Thomas Williams, the executive manager. And uh, we have a secret word. We have a qualifier every morning, or really every day. We announce a qualifier at 5 p.m. with Dwayne Williams on the Mix Afternoon Drive. And so you can win a, a 55 inch Smart TV from Mountain View Nissan of Cleveland, and uh, you just got pretty much type in the word there. This is this is through our Facebook version of Mix TV. Um, six ways to watch Mix TV on our social and digital channels, so you can do that there. Braves win last night, game one of the NLCS. Game two tonight, 6:05 against the Los Angeles Dodgers, right here on Mix 1041. Back in a moment. This half hour of Mix Mornings. It's time for your Mix Morning Secret Word of the Day, sponsored by Mountain View Nissan of Cleveland. Today's secret word is football. Usually about 4.30, I prepare for the morning show. I was not sleeping well. 
had a lot of stress. Then I got on a mermaid mattress and my sleep improved immediately. I was more well rested, that I felt better. I love playing tennis, I love exercise. I was able to engage more during the day because I'd gotten a great night's sleep on my mermaid mattress. Mermaid mattress, better mattress, better price, better sleep, better life. The Vic Vascular team is leading the way in peripheral vascular care in our region. Feeling of pain in your legs, loss of sensation in your feet or toes, open sores that won't heal, weakness when walking. Do you have flow problems? These are the first signs of peripheral artery disease, PAD. PAD affects one in five Americans and when untreated can result in the loss of a limb. If you or one of your loved ones are experiencing the signs of PAD, be evaluated. We are Vascular Institute of Chattanooga. We can help. Wholesale Supply Group, you've heard the name for years. The experts trust them, and you should too. Whether you're building, remodeling, or just maintaining your home, Wholesale Supply Group has all the plumbing, electrical, and HVAC products you need to supply any project. With great brands like Delta, Kohler, Renai, Mansfield, Progress Lighting, Square D, GE, and Milwaukee, Wholesale Supply has everything you need. Check out the locations in Cleveland, Chattanooga, Athens, Dayton, Madisonville, Dalton, and Chatsworth. Online, WholesaleSupply.us. And remember, Wholesale Supply is open to the public. You're watching Mix Mornings on Mix TV. Here is your current Kia of Cleveland time. And here's your current Vascular Institute temperature. At Anatole Exteriors, we specialize in more than just your building's exterior. We also specialize in building lasting relationships. Our commitment to excellence and ingenuity has made us a reputable company for over 20 years. Whether it be EFIS, stone, or panel, when we rep your project, your building becomes one of our very own. Because at Anatole Exteriors, we have the same skin in the game. interest-free financing on Tempur-Pedic or we'll pay your sales tax on any mermaid mattress. Today is mostly sunny with a high of 72 and a low of 45. Tomorrow your high is... energy here. What's going tomorrow on? Tomorrow your high is 77 with a low of 54 and Thursday do it again a high of 79 Secretary of State's with a low you. of 52. Your current Vascular Institute temperature is 55 degrees. All right, 822 and now this... This weather forecast is brought to you by Bradley Concrete and Lambcon Ready Mix, family-owned business serving Cleveland for over 40 years. Call them at 423-479-4541 or visit lambcon.us to find out more. 822, we're joined by the uh, Secretary of State and the uh, Volunteer State, uh, Secretary Trey Hargett, and by Senator Todd Gardenhire, who's now just a regular here. Uh, good morning, guys. How are you? Good morning. I'm just glad you didn't ask me to do the weather. <laughs> Why? <laughs> well, I don't think I could put that much pep into it. <laughs> Secretary Harry, good morning. How are you, sir? Fine. Good to be back in Bradley County this morning. Yeah, Thank, I, I appreciate the invitation for Senator Gardenhire to come down and visit. Yeah, certainly. So, Senator, good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? I, I'm doing great. And, uh, gentlemen, I know that uh, with early voting uh, starting tomorrow, I want to begin with you, Secretary. It's uh, uh, certainly on your mind. I know the mind really of everybody. It is, and you know, we encourage Tennesseans to go ahead and get their vote cast in a clean, safe, and secure environment by utilizing early voting, which, as you said, begins tomorrow, can, continues through October 29th. And um, here in Bradley County, we know that the Bradley County Election Commission is doing everything they can to, to make it safe, clean, and secure, and want people to take advantage of that. 
So what do voters need to know, uh, Secretary uh, Hargett? Uh, what do they need to know, and, and why, sh why do you think people should vote early? Well, I think it's a great way to, number one, go ahead and get your ballot cast. You know, you never know what could happen on Election Day and the best laid plans of mice and men. And so we need people to go ahead and do that. It also helps us practice social distancing at the polls so we can spread those voters out. I, I encourage people to bring a face covering with them if they will do that. And just know that when you come in the polls, you're going to see people wearing gloves, face masks or face shields, um, practicing good social distancing, wiping down surfaces to make sure that the area is clean. And I know some people are voting absentee, but I would just say the, the most safe and secure way to cast your vote is through in-person voting. That's what most Tennesseans will do. We have uh, a lot's been made nationally about uh, mail-in ballots, uh, absentee ballots. If people are voting by mail, what do they need to know? Well, if they're voting by mail, I, I just ask them to go ahead and make the request now. Get that absentee ballot request into the Bradley County Election Commission so they can hustle up and get you your ballot back to you so you can get it mailed back in. That ballot's got to be back in by the close of polls on Election Day. And, and while I believe the United States Postal Service is doing everything they can to get ballots back to us, once that leaves the hands of the Bradley County Election Commission or leaves your hands when you mail it back in, we can't account for it. So once again, the most secure way is do that in person. But if you're going to vote absentee, get that request made now and get your ballot back to us. We're joined by uh, Secretary of State and the Volunteer State, Trey Hargett, and Senator Todd Garner. Senator, you sponsored legislation that has significantly impacted recruiting uh, poll officials for the upcoming election. Tell us about the bill and why you sponsored it. Well, we were having trouble in the state of Tennessee uh, getting poll workers to come. Most of the workers that have been working in the polls are over 65, 70 years old, retired, and this was a, this was a thing for them to do. Well, when the pandemic came along, a lot of those poll workers said, you know, I don't want to be there and face the public with, all, with the unknown of the virus. And so this bill that we sponsored allowed us to lower the age of people that were eligible to work in the polls down to 16, trying to get people in high school, college and stuff to become part of the process of voting and see what it's like to be on the other side of the table when you cast your votes. I'd say it'd be uh, almost a hands-on uh, education uh, for these students. It's, it's more than a hands-on because you, you see everybody that comes in and votes, you get to, to watch them, identify themselves, show their proper ID, go through the whole process, and that way in the future, those young people that have come into the system under this uh, procedure, under this bill, now understand the importance of having uh, voter ID, proper way to do it, and everything else. They've been on the other side of the table. We're joined by uh, uh, Senator Todd Gardenhire, Secretary of State Trey Hargett. Secretary, I want to go back over to you because uh, turnout is always a, a question uh, in our state here in Bradley County, obviously. You know, what, what do you think we do to, to, to get more people to vote, just to participate in the process? You know, I think the biggest driver to get more people to participate is if we would learn how to disagree without being disagreeable and be willing to engage in political conversations with our friends and neighbors. Um, I think right now we're all scared of conflict and nobody wants to have, have an argument about it. And so we don't encourage others around us to go vote. And it's one thing for the Secretary of State to say you ought to go vote. But if somebody who you go to Little League baseball games with, go to church with, uh, see at the grocery store, work with, what have you, if somebody in your sphere of influence will encourage you to go vote or you'll do that for somebody else, there's a much higher likelihood they'll actually get, um, get to the polls. Yeah. Uh, Senator Gardner, what about it? Get more people to vote. Well, uh, unfortunately, we now, when we campaign, we rely too much on social media, too much on TV to uh, get our uh, message across. In the old days, you know, just uh, back in the 60s and 70s and some in the 80s, we had actually block captains and we would go door to door and get people, put them in a car and take them to go vote. And our turnout was much higher back then. Now. We don't have the neighborhoods like we used to have where people knew it, like, like Secretary Hargett said. You see people at church, you're in, you go to school at the same schools, you play at the baseball fields. We're, we've gotten away from the, the, the personal interaction with people to get them to go vote. That's, that's, that's what we're missing. We're relying too much on TV and social media and not the person-to-person -person part. Just do away with both of them. TV and, I mean, it's over. Come on. 
uh, social media, who cares? Yeah. Uh, we're on mixed TV, as a matter of fact. <laughs> uh, and Trey Hargett, uh, our Secretary of State, you've got a busy day around this area, I understand. We do. we got several library visits lined up. We have some grant presentations to make. We're also heading over to Wright Brothers. Um, you know, we'll spend Sorry some time. to hear that. <laughs> Steve <laughs> Wright. Oh, come on. I'm <laughs> uh, going to be at Vocker as well. going to spend some time at Lee. I'm going to be at the high school. And um, I look forward to talking to you to history class and also seeing a mechatronics yeah. um, demonstration. So a lot of really cool things we'll get to do today. And just grateful to finally get some spend some time here. Senator, what do you mean finally? We know you don't mean that. Come on, Secretary. Finally here? I mean, come on. I, I've never had a bad day in Bradley County. Oh, uh, uh, I thought you meant here in the studio. Oh, no, <laughs> well, no. This is not the way I was waiting talking. on the invitation from you. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you had standards. <laughs> Anytime. Uh, Senator Gardner, it's going to be a great day, isn't it? Well, it is, and I'm looking forward to seeing the mechatronics uh, up at uh, Walker Valley. You know, that was my bill for the last two, three years to get that funded. There's only five uh, community colleges that had the mechatronics set up, and Cleveland State was one of them. That's right. That's right. So uh, That's right. Uh, Bradley County School System has taken advantage of it, and uh, hats off to Dr. Cash and, and what she's done to work with us in the state to make sure those kids have that opportunity to, uh, to go to Cleveland State and, and get the dual credit. Uh, Secretary Hargett, uh, Secretary of State Trey Hargett, uh, early voting again as we circle back around begins tomorrow. The it begins tomorrow, continues October 29th, and, and if you don't make early voting, November 3rd is election day. Be ready. All right. Gentlemen, thank you very much for coming. Really appreciate it. Thank well, you. Thank you for having me. Our buddy great, great David here as well. David, great job over there. It is uh, Mix 1041 at 8, well, 8.30 now. My goodness how time flies. We'll come right back with more in just a moment. Stand by. The Mix 1041 News Desk brought to you by Logan Thompson Law, a tradition of legal and community service. That's Logan Thompson Law at LoganThompsonLaw.com. This news update is brought to you by Newlyweds Foods. Newlyweds Foods is hiring. Call them at 423-559-0909 or visit newlywedsfoods.jobs.net and search Cleveland Jobs. All right, let's get a check of our uh, Baskin Robbins celebration list. Ashley R is in for Bridget, who uh, we're getting a lot of calls, I understand, uh, ruptured her Achilles playing tennis with uh, Annie Adams, and we, of course, yes. featured Annie last hour. We did. And Annie I think she deserves sainthood. No, no, that's terrible. What is this? This is, this is Bridget's gift from Annie. She'll I see you're using our gift from Duracell. I am. We finally got the uh, Duracell folks, our they, neighbors they over here. They finally acknowledged that we were here. And I wasn't even here, although uh, they brought us some free batteries, courtesy of Warren Buffett, who owns Duracell. Yes, so. we did. Thank you very much. All righty. Happy birthday to Lily O'Brien. She turns 15 today. Callie Shields turns 12. And happy anniversary to Kobe and Emily Goins. Today is their 19th wedding anniversary. If you have an anniversary or, or a birthday you want us to know about, give us a call on the Volunteer Ritapest Mix Line at 614-6499. Also, uh, this morning, we have uh, started a new contest uh, this week with Cleveland Tire Center. Um, well, for well over 20 years, I have been doing the Cleveland Tire Center commercials longer than that, over 25 years. And I brought back an old slogan that uh, Corky Whitlock and Bill Thomason used to use. And I brought it back. I don't want to say brought it back. I mean, whatever. But uh, the name says it all. Mm -hmm. Cleveland Tire Center, the name says it all. So Andy Thompson and I, Andy, of course, Andy and Linda Thompson, the owners of uh, Cleveland Tire Center, Andy says to me last week, says, Steve, why don't you get people to call in and say the name says it all? We'll give away a give away a free oil change every day. So I want you know, if you want to call in now, I'll open the phones again here. 614-6499. You want to call and give your best the name says it all. And then we'll put you in a running for a uh, free oil change from Cleveland Tire Center. Of course Cleveland Tire, the Halloween sale is on now uh, on uh, North Lee Highway. And they are, uh, uh, you can buy three tires and get one free at Cleveland Tire. Let's go to the phones. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Uh, who do we got here? Joey. All right, Joey. I want you to uh, give, me, uh, give me your best. The name says it all. The name says it all. Woo! <laughs> oh, hey, there we go. I like it. I like it. And, uh, Joey, you're going to go on the drawing, buddy. 
Heck yeah. What are you up to this morning? Working, working. And where are you working? Keeping the streets clean. <laughs> Keeping keep the streets clean. Where do you work, Joy? Garbage truck, waste connections. You what now? The garbage truck at waste connections. Okay, buddy. Joy is yeah. doing it. Awesome. Where, hey, where are you right now? What area of town? Blueberry Hills. Blueberry Hill? Yep. I found my thrill on Blueberry Hill. Remember that, Joy? <laughs> Come yeah. on now. All right, Joy. Thanks. <laughs> I think we've got a promo with him. I do. We do. It's good. When he's on the garbage truck. When he's on and, the garbage truck. Yeah. Wasn't that great? That yeah. was wonderful. Let's go back to the phones. Time for one more here. Good morning. Hello. How are you? Good. All right. Uh, uh, do you want to do uh, the name says it all? Yes. All right, you go right ahead. The name says it all. Oh, that was, that was good. Great. That was good. Who's this? Leland. Leland, how are you? Good. All right, Leland. And how old are you? Eight. Eight years old. Wow. That's pretty good. Where do you go to school? Charleston at Steam Academy. Charleston Steam Academy. All right, Mr. Campbell, the new principal at uh, Charleston. And you know what? You ought to, I tell you what, Leland, you need to go down and meet Charleston alumnus uh, Larry McDaniel at the Town Squire. You ever been to the Town Squire? Yeah. All right. Well, get back down there and tell Larry. Maybe you can talk to him and make him smarter. How about then? <laughs> All right. We're going to put you in the drawing, buddy. Uh, will you use, hey, would you use the old change for your car? Mommy. Oh, m mommy doesn't want to go to prison apparently, so she's telling Leland to save her mommy. <laughs> All right, Leland, thanks. Good job, buddy. Our buddy uh, Leland there, and Joy. We're gonna have to. I, I guess we're gonna need to pause it. I may could take one more, and the name says it all. We've had some good calls this morning. Uh, six one four six four nine nine. Yeah, we can take one more. Good morning. Good morning. All right, who do we got here? Uh, my name's Kendra Byler. What's up, Kendra? Uh, not much. Just did our morning drop with, with all of our kids. Oh, how, how many children are we talking? <laughs> Just two, but a dad that I take care of also. <laughs> all right, very good. Well, listen, uh, uh, the, the slogan is the name says it all. The floor is yours. Okay. Cleveland Tire, the name says it all. I like it. I, I, you know what? That was clean, Ashley. That I was think. very clean. Right to the point. <laughs> right to the point. Right to the Perfect. point. Perfect. Andy Perfect. would like that. Good job, Kendra. Thank you. Kendra, you're in the running for a free oil change. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much for listening. We appreciate it. All right. It's uh, 8.36. And, uh, yeah, we'll do another round uh, coming up. Uh, around uh, uh, 9, uh, sometime before 9, we'll do it again. All right, uh, back with more in just a moment. It's time for your Mix Morning Secret Word of the Day, sponsored by Mountain View Nissan of Cleveland. Today's secret word is football. Three Mountain View Nissan locations mean one giant selection. And with over 800 new Nissan vehicles to choose from, we've got something the whole family will love. Like no payments for 90 days and 0% financing on select Nissan models. That's right, zero payments and 0% financing on some of our best-selling Nissan models. So come shop Mountain View Nissan in Chattanooga, Dalton, and the all-new Cleveland, home of the exclusive lifetime warranty. Hey, I'm Eric Gardner. And I'm Paul Gardner at Volunteer Ridipest. We can protect your home from termites without drilling your concrete or destroying your lawn with our exclusive Termidor HP2 treatment system. We have so much confidence in this system, we back all of our treatments with our unmatched five-year, 100% money-back guarantee. No one else in Chattanooga does that. Let the local guys protect your home. Google Volunteer Ridipest or call us today. No bug will survive. Call 698-7205. 
I told my son to find me the nicest place to live in Cleveland. He said, Dad, there's only one place, and that's Garden Plaza. And I moved into the patio home. Everybody knows your name from day one, and there's something to do all day long if you want to participate in it. You cannot possibly be bored at Garden Plaza. It is just great, and our food is outstanding. It's out of this world. And I'm so happy I'm here. Garden Plaza is it for me. Logan Thompson has been a significant legal voice in Southeast Tennessee for over 40 years. Regardless of your politics, vote on November the 3rd. And for all your legal needs, elect Logan Thompson. A tradition of legal and community service. This is John Davis, the trading man for Kia Cleveland on South Lee Highway. You probably heard the news. Most dealers don't have any inventory, but at Kia Cleveland, we do. In fact, we've got even more new Kias than I'm comfortable with. So we're rolling them out of here like 2020 Kia Rios starting at 13.9. That's right, brand new cars starting at 13.9. Come see me, John Davis, the trading man at Kia Cleveland on South Lee Highway in beautiful Cleveland, Tennessee, where car buying is as easy as one, two, three. Bender Realty is proud to have three agents who've been in real estate for over 40 years. The experts at Bender Realty don't just live here, they volunteer and contribute to the community in our area. Our involvement in the community of who being able to uh, reach out to, whether it's city planner, county planner, economic development committee, to get, help you bring new businesses into the Cleveland area. We're, we're all in, involved and we're able to keep up with what's going on and what's coming into Cleveland. If you're looking to buy, sell, lease, or rent, trust your friends at Bender Realty, 472-2173, bender-realty.com. Be home with Bender Realty. Welcome to the big leagues, where our go-kart all-stars take personal shopping to the next level. They always bring their A-game, so you get groceries carefully selected specifically for you. These are passionate professionals, ensuring every fruit and vegetable, every cut of meat is exactly the way you like it. This is plump, that is juicy, and this is lean. Order go-kart curbside pickup online for personal shopping at the highest level. Medical Center Compounding Pharmacy and Health Center offers a full service drive through for no contact prescription pickup. We are exceeding all safety guidelines by requiring temperature checks for both employees and customers. We are scheduling appointments and are only allowing one person in the store at a time. Our goal is to help everyone in our community stay safe. With more than 70 years of experience, you can trust. Medical Center Compounding Pharmacy and Health Center, North Okoy Street, phone 476-5548 or medicalcenterrx.com. Alrighty, today is going to be mostly sunny with a high of 72 and a low of 46. Tomorrow is going to be sunny with a high of 77 and a low of 55. And on Thursday, 79 with a low of 54. Your current Vascular Institute temperature is 55 degrees. This Mix 1041 weather forecast is sponsored by Life Care Center of Cleveland, celebrating more than 40. This Mix 1041 weather forecast is sponsored by Life Care Center of Cleveland, celebrating more than 45 years of serving the needs of the aging community. Life Care Center of Cleveland. All right. Time for the CHI Memorial Sports Desk. CHI Memorial, imagine better health. Good morning, uh, everybody. The Atlanta Braves when. Game one of the uh, National League Championship Series. They won it uh, last night over uh, the Los Angeles Dodgers at that neutral site in uh, Arlington, Texas. 5 uh, 1. First time the Braves have been this far in the uh, championship series since 2001. Braves win. Game two tonight, 6 05, right here, Mix 104 1, driven by Mountain View Nissan of Cleveland. The American League Championship Series, Game 2, Tampa over Houston. Yesterday afternoon, 4-2. Tampa leads two games at one, Game 3 in the ALCS. Tonight, 8-40. That'll be on TBS. Monday night football last night. Saints came back, beat the Chargers in overtime, 30-27, and a rare Tuesday night NFL game will be the Bills and Titans in Nashville tonight. That'll be on Talk 101.3. The buzz driven by Mountain View Nissan of Cleveland starts at 7 o'clock. Talk 101.3. Both teams undefeated. The Falcons, who fired head coach Dan Quinn on uh, Sunday night, have named uh, defensive coordinator Raheem Morris 
as their interim head coach. And also Hall of Famer Joe Morgan, former member of the Cincinnati Reds Big Machine, died Sunday at age 77. He was a two-time MVP and in the National League and a longtime broadcaster. That's sports, the CHI Memorial Sports Desk, CHI Memorial, Imagine Better Health, Memorial Convenient Care has flu shots now available, and you do not have to get out of your vehicle. Memorial Convenient Care right there in the public shopping center Polo Parkway, Cleveland. Check out Mountain View Nissan of Cleveland's amazing fall savings. The 2020 Nissan Rogue, sale price at $23,847 with zero down and only $281 per month. The 2020 Nissan Ultima S, sale price at $21,726 with zero down. That's right, zero down and only $274 per month. Visit cleveland-nissan.com and in person on exit 20 off I-75. Payments are per month on 75 months at 1.9 APR. This half hour of Mixed Mornings is brought to you by Vascular Institute. The VIC Vascular Team provides comprehensive medical assessment with diagnostic ultrasounds and the convenience of surgical procedures performed in both outpatient and hospital settings. Vascular Institute is now open five days a week in Cleveland on North Lee Highway. Call 602-2750 to make an appointment or visit vascularinstituteofchattanooga.com. Two Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram dealerships are joining forces. We'll meet or beat any advertised offer by $500 or pay you five grand. Plus, get summer clearance event savings, zero APR financing for 72 months, and no payments for 90 days on most in-stock inventory, like new Jeep Cherokees. Feel the power of two at Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Chattanooga and Cleveland. For well-qualified buyers, financing through Chrysler Capital. Example down 10%. Monthly charge, thirteen eight nine per thousand financed. See dealer for details. Offer expires 9 28 at 845, we're joined by our friends uh, from Cleveland State Community College. All right, everyone. Uh, welcome back. Mix 1041 and Mix TV. And uh, we are joined by our longtime friends, the Abbots without the Costellos. How are you guys? <laughs> Mark Good and well, Jake, Steve. what's going on, guys? Hey, Steve. How you doing? information sessions. Uh, Holly, tell me about this. Oh yeah, so Tennessee Reconnect is the last dollar scholarship that allows eligible adult students to attend uh, Tennessee Community Colleges and TCATS tuition free. Um, our in-person informational sessions have temporarily been suspended um, and these virtual sessions that we're wanting to host provide us a unique opportunity to increase our reach into our service county area while still maintaining a personal face-to-face -face interaction. Um, we want to make uh, adults aware of this great opportunity while also providing a convenient way to do so. And so our next virtual info session actually takes place today at 12 noon and then 6 p.m. Well, Riley, tell me, you know, I'm sure we've got a lot of uh, busy adults uh, listening with all kinds of obligations. Why should, if they've never, uh, they've never, maybe never gone to college, why should they go now? So Cleveland State has many different degree offerings, um, as well as flexible scheduling, specifically designed for an adult learner. Um, we offer classes online, virtually, hybrid, and in person. Um, we have degrees that can be completed fully online. Um, we also have three locations for our students to take classes. So we have our main Cleveland campus, we have our Athens Center, and then our Monroe County Center. So we're meeting these students where they are. That is tremendous. Uh, Holly Melton, Riley Kennedy join us in Cleveland State. And uh, so Holly, who needs to attend? Anyone who's interested in furthering their education and learning more about our adult-focused programs, um, including paying for their education with Tennessee Reconnect. Um, people can RSVP on our website at mycs.cc backslash reconnect info and one of our staff members will follow up with you via email with more information. And why is it important Riley for uh, someone to attend? So many of our graduates would say that they came to Cleveland State looking for a change. Um, so it could be that they wanted to change their career, if they wanted to get promotability in their current job, um, have a chance for higher income, or if they just wanted to prove that they could graduate college. Um, with so many in our community struggling right now, we don't want it to be a burden to go back to school, and we just want to help people take control of their future. 
All right, if people want to attend one of the sessions and learn more, Holly, what do they need to do? They will go to mycs.cc backslash reconnect info, fill out the form that's provided, and be on the lookout for an email from one of our staff members. For further assistance, they can email us at clscc underscore info at clevelandstatecc.edu. And remember, our next info session will be today at 12 noon and then 6 p.m. All right, great job, ladies. Holly Melton, Riley Kennedy, Cleveland State, with their virtual info sessions to learn more about uh, Tennessee Reconnect from Cleveland State. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, uh, Mixed Mornings on uh, Mix 1041 and Mix TV. Uh, you can uh, find Mix TV in six ways, but uh, mymix1041.com brought to you in part by Medical Center compounding pharmacy and health center with uh, medical equipment and a great deal right now on lift chairs from MedLift. That's at Medical Center Pharmacy, North O'Coy Street by Mrs. Winner's Chicken and Biscuits. Uh, they've got a great breakfast on Key Street this morning. Also uh, by our friends at Vascular Institute. Their new location serving Cleveland just around the corner from us. Matter of fact, Paula Parkway next door to Longhorn Steakhouse. Going to take a break right here. News update and more next, Mix 1041. The Mix 1041 News Desk brought to you by Logan Thompson Law, a tradition of legal and community service. That's Logan Thompson Law at LoganThompsonLaw.com. All right, it's 11 before 9. Let's get a check of our Baskin Robbins celebration, Liz. What do you got? All righty, happy Ashley birthday to Lily O'Brien. He turns 15 today. Happy birthday to Callie Shields. Also, Betty Allen, that's Donna Simpson and Melissa Woody's mom, has a birthday today. Kobe and Emily Goins are celebrating their 19-year wedding anniversary. So if you have a birthday or anniversary to put on the Baskin-Robbins celebration list, give us a call on the Volunteer Rita Pest Mix line at 614-6499. Keep you working here. Uh, Ashley R. in for uh, Bridget is having surgery tonight. Ruptured her Achilles uh, playing tennis. And uh, I don't know. I mean, Just be I nice. got to work my way in the surgery in the surgery room. No, you don't. Can I not assist Dr. She Spangler? She's so nervous already. Do not add to it. Just go in, you know, Just show be up. in full scrubs. She'll be completely asleep. She'll think it's a dream or a nightmare. <laughs> nightmare. Let's get a check of the streets. What's going on? October is truck month and a great time to get a great buy at Don Ludford Chevrolet Cleveland. Northly Highland at DonLudford.com. All the roadways and streets look clear out there, but if you see anything out there we need to know about, give us a call on the Volunteer Redipest. Fix line at 614-6499. All right, it is uh, 10 before the hour. We're back with more in just a moment. This traffic report is brought to you by Grit and Grace Market. Join them for their outdoor fall market Saturday, October 17th from 10 to 4, free admission. Find out more at gritandgracemarket.com and find them on Facebook and Instagram. Mrs. Winners Chicken and Biscuits. It's always the right time for Mrs. Winners. Serving up the most delicious Southern-style food for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Their classic American Southern Fried Chicken, Hot Buttery Biscuits, and Home Style Sides can't be beat. Mrs. Winners on Keith Street near 25th Street in Cleveland. Visit lovemrswinners.com. Don't wait in line. Download the free Mrs. Winners Chicken and Biscuits app for pickup or delivery. Wholesale Supply Group, you've heard the name for years. The experts trust them, and you should too. Whether you're building, remodeling, or just maintaining your home, Wholesale Supply Group has all the plumbing, electrical, and HVAC products you need to supply any project. With great brands like Delta, Kohler, Renai, Mansfield, Progress Lighting, Square D, GE, and Milwaukee, Wholesale Supply has everything you need. Check out the locations in Cleveland, Chattanooga, Athens, Dayton, Madisonville, Dalton, and Chatsworth. Online, WholesaleSupply.us. And remember, Wholesale Supply is open to the public. Jackson Furniture, Catnapper in Cleveland, one of America's premier manufacturers, is hiring manufacturing positions right now. Full-time positions start at $15 per hour, including great benefits, 401k with match, paid holidays, and vacations. Join our team. Fly online right now at jacksonfurniture.com. Baskin Robbins. Scoop it. Shake it. Cake it.
It's time for your Mix Morning Secret Word of the Day, sponsored by Mountain View Nissan of Cleveland. Today's secret word is football. You're watching Mix Mornings on Mix TV. Here is your current Kia of Cleveland time. And here's your current Vascular Institute temperature. The Cleveland City Schools Report, brought to you by Shannon Ritzop, your Cleveland Edward Jones financial advisor, located at 230 North Okoy Street next to Cafe Roma. Learn how he can help you reach your financial goals. Stop by or visit edwardjones.com. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Member SIPC. School nurses play an important role in supporting Cleveland City Schools reopening plan. Our plan relies heavily on these individuals. They have met their present role with such positivity that we would like to share it with you. Behind the masks, there are still smiles. Above the masks, there are bright, cheerful eyes. Students are excited to be back at school. For many, it is their safe zone. To know I play a part in keeping them safe in the midst of a pandemic is a reason to smile every day. I have been encouraged by our parents' response to our new COVID protocols and procedures and their willingness to comply for the safety of all students and staff. I have a very supportive administration team, faculty, and student families. They are quick to show their appreciation and to trust that I am doing my best to protect our school's health and safety. One of the positive aspects I've seen with our mitigations is that while taking temperatures when students arrive, we're able to greet and connect with every student that enters our building. The new guidelines for this school year have truly shown just how resilient our kids are. I've been so proud of how well they take the changes in stride and make the best of these times. There is value in education and as a school nurse we are many things but we're also teachers. We want to thank our school nurses and all local health care providers for providing quality care to our school community. The Cleveland City Schools Report brought to you by Shannon Ritzop. Your Cleveland Edward Jones Financial Advisor, located at 230 North Okoy Street next to Cafe Roma. Learn how he can help you reach your financial goals. Stop by or visit edwardjones.com. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Member SIPC. Four nine nine. Got a check of the Mermaid Mattress Weather Center. Mermaid Mattress is sold more Tempur-Pedic in Chattanooga than any other mattress retailer. And right now, they're on sale. Mermaid Mattress, better mattress, better price. Today, mostly sunny with a high of 72 and a low of 45. Tomorrow, it's going to be sunny with a high of 77 and a low of 54. And again on Thursday, sunny with a high of 79 and a low of 54. Your current Vascular Institute temperature is 55 degrees. This weather forecast is brought to you by Mountain Gas. Mountain Gas provides reliable deliveries and appliances, including gas logs and water heaters. New customer first fill offer just $1.59.9 per gallon through October 31st. Mountain Gas, 5492 Water Level Highway in Cleveland, mountaingas.com. It's the more than 50 years, 50 year old song that kids everywhere are singing right now. Frankie Valley in the Four Seasons. Surf Mesa is the DJ. Bradley County Schools Highlights, brought to you by Shannon Ritzop. Your Cleveland Edward Jones Financial Advisor, located at 230 North Okoy Street, next to Cafe Roma. Learn how he can help you reach your financial goals. Stop by or visit edwardjones.com. Edward Jones, making sense of investing, member SIPC.
Bradley County Schools highlights brought to you by Shannon Ritzop, your Cleveland Edward Jones financial advisor, located at 230 North Okoy Street next to Cafe Roma. Learn how he can help you reach your financial goals. Stop by or visit edwardjones.com. Edward Jones, making sense of investing, member SIPC. Give us a call at 829-1429. Fox News is next. Presented by Capital Tire Service in downtown Cleveland. Fox News, I'm Carmen Roberts. Georgia voters set a record on the first day of early voting with nearly 127,000 votes cast yesterday. President Trump returns to the campaign trail after his doctor said he's no longer contagious. I went through it. Now they say I'm immune. I can feel, I feel so powerful. I'll walk into that audience. I'll walk in there, I'll kiss everyone in that audience. Yesterday's rally was held outside in Sanford, Florida with little social distancing or masks. Meantime, challenger Joe Biden telling Americans this election will affect generations. The next president is going to determine not just the next four years, but the next decade or more is going to look like because there's such a stark fundamental difference. Biden campaigning in Cincinnati. America's listening to Fox News. The Mix 1041 News Desk brought to you by Logan Thompson Law, a tradition of legal and community service. That's Logan Thompson Law at LoganThompsonLaw.com. The Mix 1041 local active COVID case count is brought to you by Laboratory Service Center. Rapid COVID testing results in 15 minutes. They have the cheapest self-pay rate in the Chattanooga region. Visit clevelandtest.com. That's clevelandtest.com. Here are the local active COVID case count numbers for our listening area. Bradley County, 232. Hamilton County, 808. McMinn County, 174. Meigs County, 25. Monroe County, 122. Polk County 34 and Ray County 94. That's the Mix 1041 local active COVID case count brought to you by Laboratory Service Center. Visit clevelandtest.com. All right. Uh, thank you, Bridget. Uh, Ashley, I guess that's in memory of Bridget. That is in memory of Bridget. She's not passed away. She's having surgery. Ruptured her Achilles. She did. Uh, bending over, picking up a tennis ball. We had the assailant, <laughs> Annie Adams, in earlier. Bending, not bending. She went up to hit it and came back down on it wrong. Ridiculous. You have made so many stories up. I'm just, just glad ridiculous. you got it right. It's not her ACL. <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah. Well, it sounded better. <laughs> no. uh, Brandon and Melody Miles uh, join us uh, from, uh, oh, my goodness, Grit and Grace Market, which is taken off like a Roman candle. And uh, Coach Drew Aikens. Uh, I mean, I, I was so surprised to hear you were coming. It was unbelievable. How are you? I'm just here to look good. That's the uh, only purpose here it's today. It's easy for you to look good. That's really? what I do. <laughs> You're the eye candy. <laughs> good morning. How are you folks? Oh, we're doing well. Great. Yeah. Really good. Well, for, yeah. I'm going to begin uh, with uh, Brandon and Melody here. And first of all, uh, new, folks new to the community, tell us about Grit and Grace Market because it really has taken off. Well, thanks. Um, yeah, we opened mid-January, um, and so we are an artisan boutique and vintage market. And so we have vendors from all around this area, um, all local, who um, have spaces in our store. And so they come in, they bring their products, they set up, and then we run the store so they don't have to be there to run it. So it's kind of the, they get the best of 
you know, all the world. So we have really talented vendors. We have around 80 right now um, in the store. Um, and so, and we're open every day of the week. So that's kind of unusual for some places like us too. So, well, we're open, we're not open on Sunday, sorry. We're open Monday through Saturday from 10 to six. Um, and so each week. Brandon, yep. people have really taken to it, haven't they? Yeah, and it's, you know, the great thing about it is every single day we've got somebody coming in for the first time who, who've been hearing about it either through, you know, through radio or social media. And so, you know, we're getting just real, still getting really good feedback about it. Um, and now as the fall buying season is getting here, we think we've got a lot of big events planned, too, that it's going to be a really busy time for us. So It's going to be fun. It is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, considering everything that's going on this year, like, we are just, we're really happy with oh, yeah. the way Cleveland's embraced, mm -hmm. um, embraced the store. Yeah. Well, this Saturday, uh, Brandon, I'll let you set it up. This okay. Saturday is such a huge day, and I know you're partnering with Walker Valley. That's right. This is the this is kind of the biggest thing that we've ever attempted as far as uh, the store. Um, but we're going to host an outdoor fall market, and um, we're calling it a um, well, yeah, we're calling it an outdoor fall market. Um, we'll have over 50 vendors set up outside, and then in addition to the uh, the 80 vendors that we have in the store. And um, we, um, it's, a, it's a big event to try to coordinate um, with just because Melody and I are kind of run the store. So I talked to, to Drew here and asked if that's something they might be willing to help us out with. And um, thankfully, he jumped right I mean, on I that. Say so. no. I mean, I, 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 don't I don't like saying no. I don't, I don't <laughs> yeah. like to say no. It was a, it was a great opportunity, man. Me and Brandon uh, have known each other for a long time, and, and I consider him a great friend and uh, an opportunity for our football team to get in the community and, and serve yeah. the community too. And right. uh, it's something that I know through this year uh, that that our football team, you know, especially when COVID hit in, in March, we tried to do things to support uh, businesses around and Gert and Grace is one that uh, we wanted to and them coming back and asking us to to help with this event is a big deal and, and something I want our kids to be able to do and uh, be our kids you know our, let our kids be seen in the community not only as football players uh, but doing things to serve our community too and uh, it's a great opportunity I, it should be a lot of fun uh, I, it was cool hearing her explain what Gert and Grace was because everybody's like everybody asked me what is Gert and Grace I'm like it's this store where <laughs> there's stuff. Uh, it, it's really cool. Go. Yeah. Um, it's an experience. So it, that was a really yeah. much better explanation than I've given, but it's a well, great opportunity uh, for, our, for our program. Mm -hmm. uh, how's it going to work on uh, Saturday? Uh, what are people going to experience when they come by? Well, the hours are 10 to 4, um, and our vendors will all be set up outside. If you're familiar with the old woolen mill, there's a big grassy area out front with the, where the trees are. That's where the majority of the vendors are going to be set up, and then you'll kind of work your way down into the store. Um, it's and a so, pretty setting. So it that's is nice. really pretty, yeah. And it looks mm -hmm. like Saturday is going to be such a great fall day, so we're really excited about that. Yeah. You know, a nice perfect time. little chill in the air in the morning and then um, mm -hmm. perfect weather in the afternoon. Yep. And we'll have a couple food trucks there, too, so um, there'll be some place to get something to eat and um, hang out with a lot of great vendors. And, mm -hmm. um, and then we also have some gift certificates to give away, too. So um, Huge Retirement Group has um, has sponsored those. Okay. So we have um, four $25 gift certificates and one $100 gift certificate that people can register for inside the store. So once you go outside, see everything, come inside, take a look at our vendors, and then get registered for that. How can people get more information about not only this Saturday, but uh, Grit and Grace Market overall? Um, our Facebook page is probably the best option. Um, so it's just under Grit and Grace Market. Um, and But we're also on Instagram. And we put a lot there, same name. And then um, we have a website, um, gritandgracemarket.com. Okay. And I, I think a, a really good point, with the, uh, the especially the shopping season uh, coming, we're getting into that uh, uh, very soon. Right now, really, people are already doing that. Mm -hmm. So it's a great, great time to vent. Look forward to it uh, this Saturday, Brick and Grace Market. Hey, Drew, anything you want to add here before we go? No, uh, you know, big game for us on Friday, yes. being able to travel down uh, to East Hamilton uh, and then come up Saturday morning and, and serve the community. But we got three big games coming up. Uh, the support in our community has been absolutely amazing. Uh, and I can't say enough to the people in this community that, that are Walker Valley family and even outside of Walker family that have been so supportive. Of, of where we are and where we're going and uh, it's been a fun year and I hope we can continue on the role we're on right now because uh, our kids are really confident in what we're doing uh, and I think we're we're doing a, a good job of putting Walker Valley's name uh, on the map yeah. this year so that's exciting you are yeah well, thank you all uh, very much uh, Brandon Melody Miles Coach Drew Aikens Walker Valley this Saturday at Grit and Grace we can go to Grit and Grace 
prior to Saturday, 10 mm -hmm. until uh, 6 o'clock every day, Monday through Saturday. Big event, uh, the fall market, Saturday, 10 to 4. Going to be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. All right, it is uh, 10 minutes after 9. And now this, uh, speaking to Drew Aikens, this from the Cleveland City School Department. Thank you very much. <laughs> the Cleveland City Schools <laughs> Report, brought to you by Shannon Ritzob, your Cleveland... Welcome to the big leagues, where our go-kart all-stars take personal shopping to the next level. They always bring their A-game, so you get groceries carefully selected specifically for you. These are passionate professionals, ensuring every fruit and vegetable, every cut of meat is exactly the way you like it. This is plump. That is juicy. And this is lean. Order go-kart curbside pickup online for personal shopping at the highest level. It's time for your Mixed Morning Secret Word of the Day, sponsored by Mountain View Nissan of Cleveland. Today's secret word is football. Hey, I'm Eric Gardner. And I'm Paul Gardner at Volunteer Ridipest. We can protect your home from termites without drilling your concrete or destroying your lawn with our exclusive Termidor HP2 treatment system. We have so much confidence in this system, we back all of our treatments with our unmatched five-year, 100% money-back guarantee. No one else in Chattanooga does that. Let the local guys protect your home. Google Volunteer Ridipest or call us today. No bug will survive. Call 698-7205. Mountain View Nissan locations mean one giant selection. And with over 800 new Nissan vehicles to choose from, we've got something the whole family will love. Like no payments for 90 days and 0% financing on select Nissan models. That's right, zero payments and 0% financing on some of our best-selling Nissan models. So come shop Mountain View Nissan in Chattanooga, Dalton, and the all-new Cleveland, home of the exclusive lifetime warranty. Logan Thompson has been a significant legal voice in Southeast Tennessee for over 40 years. Regardless of your politics, vote on November the 3rd. And for all your legal needs, elect Logan Thompson. A tradition of legal and community service. Bender Realty is proud to have three agents who've been in real estate for over 40 years. The experts at Bender Realty don't just live here, they volunteer and contribute to the community in our area. Our involvement in the community of who being able to uh, reach out to, whether it's City planner, county planner, economic development committee to get, help you bring new businesses into the Cleveland area. We're, we're all in, involved and we're able to keep up with what's going on and what's coming into Cleveland. If you're looking to buy, sell, lease, or rent, trust your friends at Bender Realty. 472-2173. Bender-Realty.com. Be home with Bender Realty. Medical Center Compounding Pharmacy and Health Center offers Bradley County's only state-of-the-art sterile compounding laboratory. We are here to customize drugs and medications that are not available commercially or over-the-counter. Maintain your health with medication design to meet your body's specific needs. It's just what the doctor ordered. Put your health in the hands of trained professionals you know and trust. Medical Center, Compounding Pharmacy and Health Center, North Okoye Street, phone 476-5548 or visit medicalcenterrx.com. 
Cleveland next to Don Ledford Automotive, Discovery Outlet, where smart shoppers save. All right, uh, welcome back, everybody. Mix 1041 on the radio and on Mix TV. A couple of reminders about Mix TV. You can see Mix TV on our uh, website. Uh, is the best way, mymix1041.com. We've had a very fun and busy morning this morning. If you missed anything uh, this morning, uh, you can go back and watch it on Mix TV where you can never miss a minute. Mix Morning served by Tzatziki's. Uh, don't forget, Mountain View Nissan of Cleveland giving away a 55-inch smart TV on Mix TV. And that is through our Facebook page. Now, it's a little bit uh, convoluted and maybe a little confusing, but if you watch uh, Mix Mornings on Mix TV through our Facebook page, which is Mix 1041 WCLE, follow the directions and be our qualifier uh, for that 55 inch TV from Mountain View Nissan of Cleveland later today. Hey, thanks so much to the Wholesale Supply Group for all of your bath and lighting fixtures, plumbing. Uh, electrical. They're open to the public. Wholesale Supply Group on Key Street right here in Cleveland by Anatole Exteriors and by our friends at Baskin Robbins on Key Street. Don't forget the convenient drive through All right, now it's time. We're going to go to an interview with our friends at Affordable Roofing, Siding, Guttering, and Windows. And let's go to that interview right now. All, All right, right, everyone. everyone. Uh, welcome, welcome back. Mix 1041 and Mix TV. And uh, we are joined by our longtime friends, the Abbots without the Costellos. How are you guys? <laughs> Mark doing and well, Jake, Steve. what's going on, guys? Hey, Steve. How you doing? I'm doing great. And, of course, it's affordable roofing, siding, gutters, and windows. And windows. That's Thank great. you. Mark, I want to begin with you. Talk about your business. How long, how long have you guys been in business now? Well, affordable roofing has been in business a long time. Uh, I I bought the company about 12 years ago and have owned it since. And uh, we've grown into several divisions, which includes, you know, we started with uh, roofing. And it's still our wheelhouse, but uh, we've added siding, gutters, windows. We have repair. We have home improvement. So we, we're basically a general contractor. We can do it all. We're your all one-stop shop. And, boy, I tell you, we're hearing a lot about this around this area where people, uh, and because of COVID or whatever reason, they're, they're at home and they're seeing things that they'd like to have done. Absolutely. And uh, our guys are very sensitive, you know, as to if people need masks. We, we have all, all of our guys have masks. We take temperature every morning as is protocol. And so, uh, you know, we're, we're sensitive to it, but yet uh, glad that business is back open and, yeah. and running, and uh, this is a great country. Absolutely right. Uh, Jacob Abbott, tell me, uh, tell me about your company, what you can do for people. Well, more or less, Steve, it's just like what my father had just mentioned. Uh, we're your one-stop shop. And a lot of people, they don't actually realize sometimes, uh, especially during this time of the year, um, now is the perfect time to do it. When it gets too, uh, too cold, there are some things that we can't really do for you until spring happens. So what I would advise to any potential customer of ours, um, just take a look at some things that might need to be done because it's getting to the point where it's, getting, it's going to be a little bit difficult to get out there and help. Yeah, and uh, let, let's take them one by one. As, as your dad said, roofing is, is, is the, the bread and butter, I guess one would say. Uh, talk about what you can do for people with roofing. Well, roofing, like he said, is our wheelhouse. That's, we're a GAF Master Elite Certified Contractor, and that's 2% of all companies in, in the country uh, have that Master Elite status. Wow. Uh, that just tells you know, the community that, hey, we're the, we're the roofers. We're the ones that can give you the, the workmanship warranty, the highest in the business. We can go up to 25 years workmanship on, on these roofs. And uh, it's really quite spectacular, all the different things we can do on the roofing side of things, whether it be metal or shingle. The architectural shingle is, is the most popular one. Um, there are a lot of different colors, and uh, it's, it's something that, you know, we've slowly perfected over time. What can you do about siding? Let's talk about siding. Siding is a whole lot of fun. Uh, the only problem with siding is that 
you have so many different options to choose from. Yeah. You have your Hardy Board siding, you have you know your normal vinyl, and uh, there are some beautiful, beautiful colors in the siding department that are just spectacular. They they have really warm blues and greens. Um, it, it's a lot of fun to install as well. I would I would recommend you take a look at some of the siding jobs that we've done in the past on our website. Uh, just to see some of the beautiful stuff that we can do. And what's your it's website, Mark? Steve, before he, before yeah. you answer that, I'd like to interject. Uh, there's several new types. Uh, one is called Solid Core. And Solid Core, unbelievably, has a lifetime warranty of the building. Wow. Not just the owner, but as long as that building is standing. Wow. There, it has a warranty. So there's some really new technology. You really need to look and have some of our siding reps come out and show you and give, give explanation because there is some new technology in siding that, re that really you need to take advantage of. It. It's very I'm, neat. I'm well, sorry. No, Go right. ahead and give that uh, website. Yeah, what's the website? Uh, sure. Yeah. yeah, you can reach us on www.affordablersg.com. That's affordable. RSG as in roofing, siding, gutters.com. All right, let's talk about gutters. Uh, tell me what you can do for people. Well, as far as the gutters are concerned, we offer the six inch uh, seamless case style guttering. Um, again, with a plethora of colors. There's a multitude of, of different ways that we can do that for you. We have uh, the oversized three by four downspouts to directly correlate with the six inch gutters. Uh, surprisingly enough, Steve, black has been a really hot color this summer. Really? And I. You know, at first I wasn't really buying it until I saw the work, and yeah. it, it looks really <laughs> cool. It, it looks awesome. Yeah. Um, we uh, actually have our gutter crew, and we have our own gutter machine, so we actually uh, get the gutters, we churn them out on site, um, oh. and, which is a pretty neat process to watch as well. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's, it's great. It's a great product. Something else so let me add in to that is uh, our gutter guard protections which especially in the fall, you've got all your leaves coming in. People don't want to get up on a ladder and clean their gutters. Uh, we have two different types that we recommend. There is the uh, uh, RX Gutter Guard. It's a, it, it screws right into the gutter, which gives you a firmer uh, foundation on that. And then it, it's a clear. Uh, yeah, clear we also have like a, a clear water. Yeah. And uh, so, what clear water does is it's more or less a helmet, helmet yeah. oh, type. Okay. Um, okay. So it is pretty a fancy. Per, per, a perfect time of the year to, yes. to look and in, uh, invest in gutter guards. We've actually, if you're watching uh, on Mix TV, you see the affordable uh, roofing, siding, gutters, and windows uh, website is uh, up there. Austin is uh, showing that off. Uh, Mark, I want to go to you for this one, windows. And it, it may be something that folks don't think about when they think of affordable. But tell me about windows. Well, windows, uh, thanks, Steve, because windows is, is our newest acquisition uh, division in our company. And uh, but we've been there now for about three years. Uh, we have a, an exclusive uh, uh, with uh, our uh, the Vinci uh, 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 window division, uh, the 4700 series. Wow. which is a triple pane window. Uh, some people think that that's an overkill, but it is absolutely fantastic in keeping the heat out in the summer and the, and the cold out in the winter. Uh, one thing that I, I would like to uh, just remind people, and this is what we just mentioned with the, the, the siding. It's true with roofing too, but in each of these areas, technology is going crazy. And uh, a lot of people about 15, 20 years ago bought these thermopane windows mm -hmm. and thinking that that's the last time they'll need them. Back then, that argon gas, the leakage was 1% to 2% a year, which means that after 10, 20 years, the majority of, the, of that gas is actually gone. And people think, well, I have thermopane windows. The new technology, the gas seepage is 0 .001, wow. which means that the amount of gas that used to come out in 10 years now won't come out for over 100 years. Wow. So a lot of people, if you're, if you're wondering why your heating bill is up so high or your air con utility bill 
It's probably because those argon windows need to be replaced. And uh, the new technology is really something special that you need to look into. Joined by uh, Mark and also uh, Jacob Abbott, uh, affordable roofing, siding, uh, guttering, and windows. And I do want to talk uh, for a second about your involvement in the community. You're extremely benevolent. Things that you've, what are you, what are you proud of? What, what are you proud of that, that you guys have been able to be involved in? Uh, you know, uh, Steve, uh, I appreciate you bringing this up. You know, God has really impacted affordable roofing in, in so many ways. And, and, you know, we we find it extremely important to take that benevolence and, and spread it around the community as, as much as we can. Uh, whenever we have an opportunity, uh, just take that opportunity and go with it. Um, we have uh, our good friends over at Operation Compassion. We've done a, a couple of things with them. Uh, we just recently um, did help the Caring Place. Uh, they needed a roof pretty badly, and God opened doors to, to make that happen for them. And, uh, uh, it, you know, it's, there's one thing when it, comes, when it really comes down to it, Steve, is it's that, you know, God has really had, had, had his hand on our company, and, and um, he's had, had his hand on a, a lot of things in the Cleveland community, and we just, just want to be a part of it. Let me let me add to that. Some some of our community knows that our building uh, about four years ago uh, burned down, and uh, it was a tragic situation. Uh, I don't want to get into that story, other than uh, letting people know that at, at that at that moment um, that was a hopeless situation for for me as, as the owner, and and really it was a uh, a quote unquote come to Jesus moment where I, I had to count on God and there was you know that was it and uh, and I you know in, in my prayer time I, I said God if you'll help us <laughs> you know show me a, a way and God has absolutely uh, blessed us every year on uh, September 18th and I'd promised God that I would testify and uh, we take a moment, and I remind all of my people that uh, hope comes from God. If you don't have hope, uh, you're really in devastation. But when all else fails, when it looks like things are hopeless, God is there. Uh, and if, if we remember to, to hold on to him, he'll see us through. So with that in mind, we can't help but give back to those that are in need because God has blessed us so much. Amen. Uh, Mark and uh, Jacob, thank you very much. Affordable roofing and, of course, siding, gutters, and windows. And, Jacob, would you re remind us of the contact information? How can people get in touch with you? Sure, Steve. Uh, people can find us on, on Facebook pretty easily, Affordable Roofing, Siding, and Gutters, LLC. Uh, you can check us out on our website, www.affordablersg.com. That's Affordable RSG, as in roofing, siding, gutters.com. And, of course, you can just always give us a call, and we'll give you all the information you need. You can reach us uh, directly at 423-584-5600, and we do have 24-hour emergency services, so keep that in mind. All right, gentlemen, thank you uh, very much for coming. We really appreciate it. Hey, thank thanks for having Steve. us on, Steve. Thank you very appreciate much. Appreciate you, buddy. Thank you.